What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing tonight? Stanley Cup game number four. This is going to be great. I can't wait to start this game. St. Louis's backs are against the wall tonight, boys and girls. They have to win this game to tie the series at two. But what's going on, everybody, in the chat? How are you guys doing? We got <clears throat> John Abrams is in here. QC, what up, though? Uh, let's go, Bees. Ryan Clark says, all right. Hey, Alex Sports, Crazy Mofo's in here. Go, Thrashers, go. Well, wrong team. Amazing Rocha, what's good? Hey, yo. Uh, don't care about Raw right now, bro. Don't care about Raw. King PJ, what's going on? Yes, I was hanging out. Uh, 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 the fans were coming to me and they were forever they took forever so yeah and that's why they lost that third quarter <laughs> I was just going to reply to that but uh, yeah we uh, had a little bit of a problem with Stephen A. Smith yesterday I guess not happy with that or arena half full half full yeah because they were all on the concession stands but what's going on everybody how you guys doing today uh, but yeah so interesting theory there Mr. Stephen A. Smith but I, uh, I respect it I respect it uh, but yes Let's go Boston, huh? Well, we're in st. Louis. This is gonna be a good game. Can't wait for this game to start uh, Let me pull up these lineups here if I know where they are where I can find lineups uh, Bruins lineup I'm pretty sure I can know the Bruins 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 lineup and blues I guess the M MLB draft is up tonight. I guess the lineups or the draft is going on uh all right, Vince Dunn's in. That's good. Let's go. Uh, not game three. I don't need that. Blues roster. Let's go. Daily combinations. There we go. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Pretty funny. Pretty funny, but yes. Uh, will you get a react to any? Yes. Games three and four. Uh, YR. Games three and four. I did late fourth quarters for both game one and two. Did pretty respectable for that, but it was pretty interesting to do those games live at the arena. But I will be uh, live for games three and four. I might be a little bit late for game three. Uh, my son has a baseball game at 6.15. It won't be done until about 8. Uh, by the time we get back, it might be 8.45. might be 9 o'clock, the latest. Maybe 9.10, 9, 10, 9 11, 12, 14, 15, 20. It doesn't matter. I'll be live at some point for game three. But game four, I'll be there from start to finish. Uh, what's up, Sully? Yes, but I will be doing live coverage for games three and four for sure. What's up, Nick Howard? How you doing, man? Welcome. I uh, got bashed after. The, yeah, I saw that. There was a two-minute video with Clay and KD in the back, and then they, they called him Aubrey and everything like that. So it was pretty funny. So, yeah, it was pretty entertaining to say the least. That's for sure. For sure. Stream from Junior's game? Uh, it's possible. I, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't want to waste all my data. I'm like Roach. I don't want to waste my monthly data. I only got 10 gigs between three phones. And that does take a little bit of time, but you never know. I might go live. We'll see. But uh, it's nothing really major. It's just him at bat that I would like to take videos of. But uh, that's about it. But, yes, Dunn's cousin's in the chat. Ron Dunn's back. He's back in the game. And you know what, man? You were in my last stream when he was playing, and you were there. You are hanging out, and then you left. And you know what? He scored when you left. Just saying. Yeah. SML? No. Have not. Uh, yeah, have you heard? But let's see these lineups here. Let me see. Einan, Coyle. Yeah, that's pretty simple. You know, oh, Cur Curley. Curley's a new one. And Asiri, Asiri, or whatever his name is. Okay, let's do St. Louis's now. I think it's the same one pretty much with Dunn just being added. St. Louis Blues. Lineup. Lineup. But yes, all right, there we go, there. We got St. Louis's lineup. Let me take a look at these numbers really quick. I think is the only one that I don't know. That's 49, though. All right, we got Schwartz, Shen, Tarasenko, Easy, Sanford. Well, that's a little bit a new one, I guess. But he's 12, O'Reilly, 97, uh, 90, 57 Perron, Easy, Maroon, Easy, Bozak, Easy, Blay. Should be pretty easy. Barbashev, there he is, number 49. And Sunkfist, I think he's back today. And Alex Steen, defense. Still the same. That should be pretty simple, too. And the goalie is Bennington. But yes. All right, cool. Hello, Eli Koob. Go St. Louis. That's great. All right, heist man. I don't do hockey to spot. You know what, man? You good. You good. You definitely are good, man. Thank you for that, man. And I was watching uh, your show last night. I was watching the replay this morning. Holy crap. What the hell's going on with uh, Drew? Is he okay? I talked to him a little bit, but I was busy all day today. So I only got to send him that quick message, but I didn't get to see aftermath and i just read it and i just replied back but god damn man 
I understand where he's coming from, though. It's very frustrating. Unfortunately for me, I wanted to tell him, but I, I will talk to him in DMs, too. I'll just let him know, man. Like, sorry, man. These playoffs are crazy. These, these, it's a crazy time for uh, playoffs and everything for the month of May and June, like start of June. So things are going to quiet down here shortly. In the next couple of weeks, everything should be dead for NBA and NHL. But, yeah, pretty pretty shitty. Pretty shitty. I understand, though. What's going on there, uh, girl face on the screen but man behind the keyboard what's up maria <laughs> i forget what you what your name is i forgot but yeah i know you say you're a boy you're a boy all right cool all right so this is officially my first stanley cup game from start to finish pretty pretty intense like i've i did a little bit of that overtime but that was about it but we're going to be starting from fresh but uh, there's a couple of channels doing this game as well, so I expect them to kill it like always um, So I'm just gonna have fun anyway. I haven't done anything from start to finish in a while So I'm glad to be doing some at least some Stanley Cup finals. Maybe we get a, a new viewer in here or a couple uh, No, I would not go to Boston for the parade I pay for the ticket. Well, that's a great offer, but no, thank you. I do not want to go to Boston uh, Let me call Jordan. All right Call me Jordan. That's right. That's right. He was venting a little with his peeps. Not my fault. Yeah, I know. You know what, man? It's like he said it right, man. I'm just, I'm going to quote him. I don't care what he says. If he gets mad at me, he gets mad at me. But this isn't high school, man. Like, this is why I'm kind of glad I went my separate ways. Just because I don't want this. I just want to have fun. I'm in my 40s, for God's sakes. I don't need high school petty bullcrap. And... I understand what he's what he meant by that but i hope he's not mad at me for saying but he's right though this isn't high school we're adults we can like whoever we want to like just leave us alone let us do our own thing man but yeah uh what, what year was this john back in 1999 uh thrashers are winning this hit the like yes uh get me a job at the td i need more than just the td gardens i need another job as well maybe fenway if you can get fenway uh that might be a possibility that's a slight possibility uh, don't forget to smash the like button. Yes, hit the like. There's three of you guys. All right, spike the like. But yes, oh, Tony Amante. That guy was a beautiful man playing hockey back in the day. Is that Tony Amante? Yes, it is. But there was a player that really, I think that's uh, Bennington, the goalie. Yeah, anyway, they're just doing our pregame stuff right now. So this game won't be starting here for another like five minutes probably. Ronnie said he was going to make a diss track on you. <laughs> Let him make a diss track all he wants, man. Doesn't bother me. Ronnie is just Ronnie. He can do whatever he wants. I hope he enjoys making it because that's good. Because my diss track is right in front of me with 6,700 subscribers while he has, what, 10? So, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. If the Blues lose again, they will they will put Allen in for the next game. That's a possibility, man. That is a, quite a possibility. That's quite. Uh, Zion says, who are you talking about? Oh, just uh, some different uh, people that I've ran with back in the day i still talk to everyone but it's just like it's it's just lots of high school drama and i just don't need that drama in my life anymore i that's why i push myself away kind of i want to do my own thing and i'm doing it so i still like everyone and i will still talk to them but it's just i rather have my own thing what i'm doing right now by myself uh but yes right yeah i'm just having fun man this is like i'm like i said i'm middle aged now man i just I, this is like a young young man's gig man like we got a lot of people that are in their 30s and 40s doing this i fit right in man i fit right in doing this but uh yeah i wish i would have done this a lot sooner man a lot sooner well thanks mr tony illmatic tony no one's causing anything, Elias. I'm just talking, speaking freely. <laughs> Let me hear Sir Cardinal diss track. I'll shut that down. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Ronnie could do whatever he wants, man. If you say drama again, I will take a shot. Not a good idea. Okay. Drama. 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 Get effed up. Vince Dunn's cousin. Vince Dunn's cousin. Ron Dunn. Drama. 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 Just kidding. But yes, are you streaming Raw Surge? Uh, Jerry, what do you think I'm doing tonight, man? Do you see any WWE logos? Do you see any ring? Do you see Vince McMahon's face? Because you know what? 
Jerry Parsons, I got two words for you. You're fired. Not really a hockey game. That's good. That's a good Karam. Learn it. I'll embrace you with it. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get messed up tonight, Mr. Run Dunn. This is gonna be better than getting drunk on a Stanley Cup game seven when you're gonna be so wasted in like seconds. Cause if Vince and the St. Louis Blues win the Stanley Cup, you're gonna get hammered. You are going to get hammered. But you will probably have more fun getting hammered with your cousin and the Stanley Cup. Oh shoot, that guy looked like uh the Street Prophet dude. Wow, okay, never mind. But yes. Sir, did you hear that Kyle Lowry has a torn thumb ligament? Yep, but he's playing through it. He's playing through it. I knew that since uh, last at the end of the last home, uh, series against Milwaukee. They were talking about you can't feel a slum. So he said he's definitely going to get surgery in the offseason. So I respect him. I know people are shitting on him from last night. Come on, man. One bad game in, what, five or six games since the Bucs series? He, he's been pretty, pretty respectable. Getting the dimes, getting the rebounds. He might not be getting... 15 20 points a game but you know what he's doing other things to contribute he's putting pressure on defense yesterday yeah he had a little bit of a, a bad game yes granted but he'll bounce back hopefully and uh, there's a lot of uh raptors a little bit banged up there's reports with Kawhi and his quad and his knee tendonitis arthritis I, it's just lots of stuff going around man iguodala with the knee uh hamstring little little hamstring injury to clay looney's chest i heard so Lots of injuries for both teams, not just uh, the Raptors, so that's good. He might make a baby named Stanley. Well, I'm pretty sure the whole population of St. Louis, if they win the Stanley Cup, will be making babies. So they'll be having babies come in March of next year. Yeah. Will Rochester, San Francisco, they, they got him? Oh, they got Hunter Bishop? Nice. Nice. They got Hunter Bishop, huh? So he's probably jumping up on his bed right now, and he's probably uh, causing an earthquake in his room right now. TSS, my day has been quiet, nice and chill. Day off today. Uh, I know DJ Jackson from the Canada Under-16 basketball team. Very cool, very cool, Tria. This has been the most injury-plagued finals in a while. Yes, it has, but it's, it's, it's going to shape up to be a great one. Hopefully it goes all seven. That's what I'm hoping for now. I hope it goes all seven. There you go. He's so happy. There he goes. He's breaking the bed. All right, time to watch this game. All right, no, you got to tell me who the Blue Jays take. Hey, I'm just telling you, man. I'm telling you how it is, Rocha. Tell me who the Blue Jays get. Do they get that West Virginia pitcher? Let me know. That's the best right-hander available in the draft, apparently. That's what I've been reading today. And my kid told me today that the draft is on. I was like, nah, you lying. And no, he, he he's right. So he was saying that they're going to get a relief pitcher. And I'm like, nah, there's no way they're going to get a relief. They're either getting a position player, outfielder, catcher or starter they're not going to go for relief but you never know this guy could be a relief pitcher in the future if they take him uh oh geez king pj he felt uh the aftershock huh yo wraps in five a uh, six uh timmy i don't think so man um it could go seven i think the raptors could split down there i think they're going to be groomed but i just want to see what they do against that crowd i want to see what they do against that crowd and i'm waiting for drake because the court side is different you can actually see drake on your tvs unless they have it differently in the united states where you can't see but i don't think so i'm not sure if you can see the back of drake when you're when they're in toronto but when they're in golden state he's on the other side so you will you only get to see the back of his head so that's what i've noticed when you see golden state games that they switch they have different camera angles unless it's different unless it's totally different in the states i don't know because when i'm looking at my tv for raptor games uh the the desk is right in the front and you can see drake on the side on the top of my screen not the bottom but i think in golden state he's going to be at the bottom you felt it over there too nick howard god damn let the good times roll who knows free site to watch the NHL playoffs why don't you listen to my play-by-play -play? let the good times roll because i'll let the good times roll but if not you can search around youtube i'm sure you'll find it Pick is in for your Blue Jays. Good. Tell me. Tell me. Drake is cheesing. Yeah, he was pretty upset after the game last night. He definitely was last night. But hey, you know what? I liked how uh, I liked how uh, Katie and them were going after him. That's for sure. Uh, year of the upsets. Wow, this is true. Have you heard? Uh, have you? No, I have not had St. Louis pizza. Nope. Waters will give it a six point two. Not not bad. Being from should have gave it a seven point nine. Raptors will win if Blues do. Okay. Well, if the Blues win tonight, then the Raptors will win Game Three. Hopefully. Hopefully, KD is still out. That would be better for the Raptors' chances. Well, who knows what he's going to bring to a game. Like, he could be good to go, but he might have problems with that calf. You never know. So, I don't know either, but we'll see. And you know what? 
people are saying this is the best team ever assembled in NBA history. Man, if the Raptors lose, they lost to the best team ever assembled. If they beat the if they beat the Warriors, they beat the best team that's ever assembled. So that's whatever. Uh, I'm just happy to be there. I'm one of those fans that are happy to be in the finals. I'll be upset. Yes, I'll be sad. But there's rumors going around too that Kawhi's going to sign a short-term deal with the Raptors. He won't get the max money. He'll take a short one-year, two-year deal and trying to get pieces added for a run. So we'll see what happens with that. That's a possibility too. I never thought about that until I read that today, that he could possibly take a one or two year deal to stay with the Raptors for one more year or two. June 20th and June 23rd. Yes, I think I'll be covering the NHL draft for sure. NBA, I think I have to work, but I don't want to take too many days off this month because I need the money. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I might do the NBA, but there's a lot of channels going to do the NBA. But I feel like I've done that before. I did the NBA by myself last year. Why can't I continue that on my own? I know there's going to be mega channels doing it all. But I did the NBA draft last year by myself when I knew no one. So I might just do it again. I might. And the awards are on June 20, uh, 19th. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Do you think the beef with Drake is fake? Yep. Uh, not that fake. I think they're chirping. I think they're chirping at each other. But you know what? After the series is all over, whoever's winning the championship, they're going to love each other. They're going to hug each other, and they're going to respect each other. They'll go out. They'll party that night, whatever. They'll all party together after whoever wins. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoever wins. Uh, O's got Rochman. Yes, they did. Connor Burke. That's a great pick. Great. Took your guy. See? West Virginia. I'm one for one. That's all I needed. Rocha is like, what? Six of 12? No, you're like, what? Six of eight? Six of nine? Maybe you're a perfect bracket right now for MLB draft, but I'm one for one, so I'm retiring. So they got the West Virginia kid. Okay, cool. He's the best right-handed pitcher and prospect in America right now. So that's awesome. I hope he signs. Usually those guys don't like to sign. But we'll see. Boogie cut. Yeah, he played great last night. He was a great difference maker last night. He was on point. What's up, B Blader? Uh, the West Virginia pitcher. Yep. Good stuff. I like it. I like it. Elias will. Well, the mom character was eh. Well, hey, Kawhi's not leaving, in my opinion. Yeah. I think he might sign a quick one or two year deal with the Raptors just to see if they can get that over that hump and if they can add some depth. Maybe they can add someone during free agency that's. That would want to come on a cheap one-year deal and just put every chip in its bargain because they're in a window right now but who knows maybe they can uh, get Kawhi for a one or two year deal and hope hope for the best for next season too if they don't win but you never know we'll see what happens but i've been hearing that rumor a lot today a lot of people are saying he might take a one-year deal two-year deal to stay with the raptors uh that it's good for him because then if he gets that championship say next year or even in this year if he signs then maybe he signs the max who knows but if he doesn't win i think he can sign a one-year deal just to stay in toronto for one more year because you know what? He does like it here. He does like it. His uncle is just the one that says everything. So you were a perfect one for four, then took the... Okay. Yeah, Rocha was great. We both got our guys. Yes. Yes, we did. I was wanting that pitcher from West Virginia. I would read him out of him since last week. And yeah, he... I his, They were projected him as the best uh, right-handed pitcher in baseball for prospects. So that's good. I like it. Yeah, this week after the NBA draft, NBA free agent will start. Yes, and now I'll be covering draft uh, stuff. If, if I don't, if I do the draft, I'll I'll watch the draft. Uh, I'll re, I'll have a reaction to it. You, there's going to be a lot of channels doing it, which I don't mind. I did it by myself last year. It was fun. I just wanted to do it just because it was something I could do. Um, once free agency starts a week later, uh, it starts at six o'clock instead of twelve o'clock. So that's awesome. So we get news, but they just can't officially tender the deals till a week later. But they can announce them on the 30th of june i think 30th of june or J july 1st i think it's june 30th at six o'clock so yeah that's good that is good all right just give me a second guys i just wanted to look at something quickly just wanted to look at something quickly here uh where is it where is it where is it where is it uh alec alec mano mano ah manoa Manoa, Alex Manoa, Alec Manoa, right-handed pitcher from West Virginia. That's who it is. So, yeah, they picked him up. Great stuff. Love it. Uh, yeah, and maybe even, like, breaking news, if something happens, I'll just do a quick video like the entertainer does. I'll wear a vest in honor of him. I'll try to find a vest sitting in a truck, and I'll break, break news like that, too. And I'll do that for the NHL as well. But uh, if not, I'll just make a quick video and upload it like, I, like they do, too. So we'll see. There will fights in this game tonight, 1,000%. I don't know about fights, my man. I don't think there will be. I think there will be a lot of uh, after-whistle stuff, for sure. It is on NBC. It is on uh, Sportsnet. I don't watch Sportsnet for hockey. I watch it on CBC. True Canada channel. 
drafts june 20th and sun said they want to trade the pick well yeah you told me that last time it's a possibility man they they got gypped they got dripped what up go get okay thanks cortez boston will smash the blues again i'm pretty sure you're right not right tonight i think st louis will win this in a barn burner uh, i'm surprised how the padres took siege yeah i know they're both short stops right <laughs> uh bishop went to the same high school and college as barry bonds well that's good that school probably does steroids cbc don terry is an old guy who keeps comp yeah you know what doesn't matter man he's a legend love him respect it all right i'll be right back sorry i'm sorry i had to go get that but uh man she uh when she tripped the other day over that green screen it popped something loose now it's hard to get by because it's, it keeps popping out so i might have to readjust this green screen at some point uh like take it apart and redo it because when she tripped it knocked off one of the things and now it just seems difficult to get by and it looks like it shifts so it's not good i gotta fix this uh yes Yep. Yeah, they got I don't know why they would do that. Like that's what the Blue Jays had a problem with a couple years uh like the last three years. They took second basements. Oh, Brett Hall, how's it going, buddy? Former blue. But yeah. Abrams will probably move to second base. Oh, there you go. There you go. Clay Thompson last night. Oh yeah. He's okay, go get her. I'm pretty sure he's good. Yeah, well, a lot of kids are versatile in high school, man. Especially those high school kids, yeah. All right, guys, we're getting ready to start this game. Jordan Bennington will start in goal for the St. Louis Blues. For the Boston Bruins, Tuka Rask. Zion deletes the comment. God damn it, right when I was reading it. All right, guys, let's go. Let's get this game underwear. Game four, underwear, and let's go. Puck chipped in by the Blues. Gets it to center ice. And the Blues get the possession, and here comes Bergeron now for the Bruins. It's just going to dump it in deeply on a diag. Pasternak gives chase with Brad Marchand. Boomeister trying to get it up on the wing. Finds Sunkfist. The guy who was suspended in game three is back for game four. Here comes Boomeister. Takes a little snapshot. Gloved by Tukarast and held on for a whistle. First whistle of the game of game number four. Yes. But yes, thank you guys for coming tonight. I appreciate you guys for coming through tonight. It means a lot. It does mean a lot. Hey, Cardinal, you hear the sign, Marner? Yeah, to give... They, you need to give yeah if they if somebody offer sheets mitch marner they're gonna have to give up four first round picks man that's crazy talk but it's been done before not the first rounders though i think like when dustin penner with the ducks and oilers they gave up like a second and third and a first i believe all right david perron now with the puck takes a little snapshot blocked out in front regains the puck perron now goes to the side of the net looks to make it back to the point does finds petrangelo slides across for dunn takes a shot tipped good stop by rask robert scores ryan o'reilly and the blues take a one nothing lead early what pressure look at that good stuff 43 seconds into the game, the Blues take a 1-0 lead. Do, 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 do. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. How do you like those apples? How was that play-by-play? -play? How was that? How was that? And look at Vince Dunn getting an assist on his first game back. Tipped nice. Yes, Rylan, wrap around. Yeah, that's an early goal. 43 seconds in. Elias. Beautiful. That's what the Blues need, folks. This is what they're going to bring tonight. The hype. Boom. There's Ron Dunn, the cousin of Vince Dunn. Bennington now will play it right off for Shen. Shen now goes behind his net, gives it off to Petrangelo, swings it up to the right side, finds Tarasenko tipped at center. Bacchus will chip it back in. Petrangelo is going to give chase, and there is. Krejci, 
meets him there, but he gets it right back to the point for Krug. Krug takes a shot, tipped out in front, blocked in front. Tarasenko now with the puck for the Blues. Vladimir Tarasenko comes, leaves it off for Schwartz. Petrangelo is just going to wrap it around the net back to Tarasenko. Tarasenko now back to the point, but it's going to be picked off by David Backus. The former Blue comes in and he's just going to dump it in on Bennington. He gloves it down. He's going to play it behind the net. Nobody there. And Jaden Schwartz is going to bump Charlie Coyle off the puck in the corner. David Backus in on the side of the net as well with Charlie Coyle. Schwartz now with the puck on the side, trying to find somebody. Can't get it back to. Uh, the, his defender behind the net. Coyle now will pick up the loose puck for the Bruins. Nice move by Coyle, and it's just tipped out, and the Blues are going to make a little bit of a line change here. Back to, who's that, Moore? Yes, Moore. We'll just chip it in, and it's going to be flipped out to center, and St. Louis, uh, Maroon, and that's offside. Patrick Maroon just offside, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, we heard about that fight for sure. I saw highlights too. Crazy. Have you heard the sign? Yes, yes, whoosh, yes. Maybe my lucky channel. There you go, Ron. There you go, Thomas. Hat trick. What's going on? Welcome to the channel mount. Game four of the NHL Stanley Cup Finals. As you see on the scoreboard, one nothing St. Louis. Ryan O'Reilly with a nice wraparound on Tuka Rask after some good pressure there by the Blues in that first minute in Boston zone resulted in a goal for St. Louis. All right, top line back out for the Bruins. Pasternak back to the point. Gives it off to McAvoy, who's going to lose it. And here comes Steen. Steen. Alex Steen will just dump it in deep. Right. Marchand meets Barbasev. Oh, it's all the way down, and Pasternak's going to negate the icing. Oh, he's going to get bumped off the puck by Sunfist, taking the body. All right, Pyarico now will just wrap it around. Can't get it out, though. McAvoy takes a little stopper, steered aside by Bennington. And here comes the Blues. Barbashev in backhand shot just wide. Maybe tipped by Tuka Rask. Pasternak and Brad Marchand will just make a line change. Petrangelo is just going to dump it down. And here comes Sunkfist. Sunkfist takes a little snapshot wide. Sanford will get it down low. And there's going to be a, a face-off. It was tipped out of play or is that a penalty? But anyway, nice hit by Sunkfist. You watching it with sound? I'm watching the sound is not working. I have no sound on my channel, man. There's no sound on my channel. I, uh, but hold on. Let me see. Let me see. I don't think there is any audio. Can you guys hear my TV at all? Because I don't think there is very much, if anything. Let me see if I turn it up just a bit. Let me know. Let me know. If it's too loud, you let me know. Anyone in the chat that's that I know for a long time. All right, O'Reilly loses the draw, and it was flipped out. Ooh, right into this extension of the between the benches, so they're going to do a face-off again. You don't hear it? Elias. Yeah, I think it's my mic settings. I think my mic settings have it. I don't hear the TV. You're good. Okay. Yeah, because if I had it too loud, it could be copyright, so I just have it on just a little bit so I can hear some of the names. All right. Carlo now will pick up the puck and gets it down low for Krug. Krug now will pick it up and just rip it down. That's going to be icing. That should be icing. And it is against the Bruins. Not a good play there. Well, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Heidi, 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 ho. This is an old blue scoreboard, I think. They got a brand new one there. I see it. That's nice. All right. Shen now will take the face off against Krejci. Shen wins the draw. A little snapshot high and wide by Tarasenko. Gunnarsson will just wrap it around the net and gets it back to the point. Trying to find the point, but there is Shen in his feet, but Krejci's going to pick up the loose puck, and here comes David Krejci. Just chips it in. Ooh, looking for the Jake DeBrusque. Almost a breakaway there, but that did not happen. Gunnarsson will just wrap it around for Gunnarsson. Whoa, that's too many. What, who's that? Number four is... Got to look quickly. Four, 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 four is Gunnarsson. And who's six? Edmondson. That's right. Okay. Oh, nice. David Prawn finds Sanford. Sanford's just going to wrap it down into the corner. McAvoy's going to pick it up, but he can't pick up the p loose puck. Chara will pick it up and just wrap it around on the left side. Met there by Pierico. Pierico. Back to the point. He's trying to go. Looking. Back. Finds Sanford. Takes a wrist shot. Tipped. Oh, right in the pads of Rask. And it's going to be held on. Ooh, almost 2-0 there, St. Louis. Wow, what a start for the Blues. 
What's up, Cheat Kicks? Wow, geez, Louise. Boston. Not looking good here in this first five minutes of this game. What's good? What's good? Good stuff. All right. 16.09 left to go here. First period. one nothing Blues. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Bozak now will take the face off for the Blues. Against Curley. And Bruins win the draw. They get it up to the wing, but met there by two Blues. Blay now will give chase. And there is Maroon behind the net for the Blues. Patrick Maroon gets it back to the point. Right to Dunn. Dunn takes a little wrist shot. Tipped in front, but that's tipped, and it's going to be a face-off deep in Boston zone. I am a hockey man. That's my passion is hockey. You may think basketball and the streams and the views and stuff like that. Yeah, man. Basketball is where I get all my viewers from, but hockey is my passion. Had to do at least one Stanley Cup final game. I don't know I'll be able to do a clinching game. Got work coming up here soon. Like a busy time coming up, I think. All right, Boston wins the draw. Coil. Krug will pick up the puck, but bumped off the puck by Tarasenko. Stays in Boston's zone, but it's going to be flipped to center. And Petrangelo is going to lose it in his feet, but he's going to make the play up to his center. And here comes Tarasenko now for the Blues. Nice pass cross. Looks for the wrist shot. Stopped by Tukarask. Nice little glove save there, but... Schwartz had a nice little wrist shot on goal. Carlo and Krug. But yeah, Tori Krug was the first Boston Bruin player in their history to score four points in a game, in a playoff game. Couldn't believe that when I read that. What's up, Scott Thomas? How you doing, man? Thanks for coming through. Uh, it was Shen that had the wrist shot, not Schwartz. Okay, cool. Well, that's good, G-Kicks. I appreciate that, man. I know there's a lot of basketball people, for sure. I wish my channel was a little bit better for hockey, though, but hey, that's okay. Back to the point. Gunnarsson will get it down low, but he can't make the play. Here comes the Bruins out. Coil now for the Bruins. We'll flip it in. He's going to give chase. Gunnarsson and Coil behind the net. Out in front. Oh, nice little shot there by Johansson. Just steered aside by Bennington. Back to the point. Goes into the corner. Bruins now. Look to set up. That could be holding. Is there no call? No call on the Blues. That could have been a call. Coil now. Gets it off to Tarasenko at center. Bumped off the puck, and here comes Payarko. We'll hand it back down for Jay Boomeister. Boomeister surveys. Line change coming for the St. Louis offense. Payarko now will get the puck. Chips it up on the sign. Barbashev will try to chip it in deep. Can't, and it's going to be dumped into St. Louis's territory. Bennington will leave it for Boomeister. Gives it off to the wing for Steen. Steen has problems. Gets it back to Boomeister. Jay Boomeister. Swings it across for Pyarko. Pyarko to center. Looking for Sungfist. Sungfist will pick up the loose puck. Sungfist takes a little wrist shot wide. Low and wide. Back to the point for Boomeister. Boomeister goes for a skate. Lugs it around for Sungfist. Sungfist back up behind the net. Looks for a nice pass for Barbershev. Shot. Oh, right in the crease. Ooh, good stop by Rask. Clifton will try to get that puck back up. Okay, here comes Pyarko. Slap shot from the point. High and wide. Pasternak trying to get this puck out. Can't get the puck out. Boomeister will just leave it behind the net. O'Reilly will get, or Steen will try to get chase. Gets it off to the right side, but Parco is going to cut it off. Get it out in front. Blocked out in front. Clifton now bumped off the puck. St. Louis with more pressure. Boomeister and Steen behind the net. Barbashev now will give chase. Bumps off more. And it finally gets out. And St. Louis is making wholesale changes with Boston. David Perron now, nice move to get by. Just flips it in deep. Sanford bumps off Carlo. Nice hit there on the corner. Gives it off to O'Reilly. Right in front. Looks for Perron. Nice move. Trying to bank shot. Saved by Rask. Back to the point it goes. Nobody's going to be there. Dunn's going to give chase. Dunn poked off the puck by Jake DeBrusque. And DeBrusque makes a nice little hit behind the net. Gives it off to Sanford. Off the wall it goes. Looks for O'Reilly. O'Reilly will get it to center. And here comes Sanford. He's hit by Bacchus. And Dunn will pick up the loose puck for the Blues in St. Louis territory. 13-13 left to go here for a period. Blues up one. Coil, nice pass across. Takes a little snapshot tipped by Petrangelo. There's going to be a face-off 
coming deep in St. Louis territory. Asiri, whatever his name is. Yeah, Rocha, that's what it is, man. Hockey's not good on this channel, man. Hockey is not good in this channel. What's up, Zane? He's a hockey fan. I've seen him in other streamers. Subscribed. I thought you did the other day, Ron. Done. I thought you did the other time. I guess not. But that's okay. Blues all over Boston. Yes, they are. Yeah, thanks, G Kicks. Thanks for coming through, man. Joey Gerber. Joey Gerber, low key, have been here since less than 1,000 subs. Yes, you have, but you change your name 5 billion times, my man. <laughs> I know. It's NFL football highlights. We were talking about you yesterday because we were talking about how the big channels can upload highlights and interviews, and nothing happens. But once you do, terminate it. Terminate it. That's crazy. Oh, we got the one person that doesn't like the video. Well, sucks to be them. That sucks to be them. You might get lucky tonight if the Blues win. It's only going to be a two-two series lead, man. Don't don't push your luck. Wait for game. Wait for a Stanley Cup clincher. Then that's when you dive in. Because if this baby will be born in March of next year, you'll be like, yeah, this is the baby that didn't win the Stanley Cup. And you're going to hate that baby. <laughs> Just kidding. You like the stream. Do you see a picture on my comments or just like a green icon? I see. Yeah, I see a picture now. I see a picture now. Like a legendary boss. Yeah. You might hate that baby. Just saying. Is CRRE? I can't even say this guy's name. Number 55. I'll just call him Noel. Noel. Jamie Oliver. Who the hell are you? I don't watch Canadian TV that much, but yeah, CBC. Anyway, back to the game we are coming. After a TV timeout. Yes. Crowd is jacked. Crowd is going crazy. All right. Shen will win the faceoff, gives it off to Edmondson, gives it off to Petrangelo. He's just going to wrap it up to the line. Tarasenko trying to get the puck out. Can't. And there's Johansson. Johansson will pick up the puck for the Bruins in St. Louis territory. Back to the point for Krug. Krug, slot pass, looks out in front, gets a cr shot on goal. Stop there. Heinen gets a shot, but it was tipped, and it was stopped by Bennington. A little bit of pressure there by the Bruins. And here comes Shen now with the moves. Ooh, trying to get it back to the point, but can't. Johansson will pick it off, gives it off to Krug. Tipped by the St. Louis player, Tarasenko. Gets it off to center, and Schwartz will pick up the loose puck for the Blues. Line change coming for the Blues. Swings it across for Petrangelo. Petrangelo has time. Gets it off to the wing. Gets it in deep, but there's McAvoy to pick up the puck. Heinen now will pick it up for the Bruins. Heinen coming in. Can't get a shot. Does get a shot on goal. Gloved by Bennington and held on. Face off deep in St. Louis territory. Very good. Very good, Joey. Yeah, exactly. But I'd rather... That's just how the Raptor fans feel. But we got to win our championships, man. I said Blues in six. Remember when the Blues wasted Hall and Gretzky time? Yeah, I remember that trade. Anthony, let's go Boston. Yes, Blues take looking sharp. Yes, they are. They are. They are looking real sharp. 12.20 left to go here. Sunfist will take the draw against Bergeron. Run by the Bruins, but Steen will pick up and just dump it off to center. Chara trying to get that puck in deep camp, but there is Brad Marchand. We'll pick it up for the Bruins. Mini two-on-one. Marchand, nice play there by Blumeister on the two-on-one. Mini two-on-one. It was... Developed late, but good stop there by Patrick Angelo. Sunfist will pick it up for... Ooh, he's belted by Bergeron. No call. McAvoy will just wrap it around, gives it off to Chara. Zidane Chara on the left side. Trying to get that puck up. Can't get the puck out. Finally, he gets out to the line, but it's not out. Sunfist will pick it up. Nice pass down low for Barbashev. Back in front for Sunfist. And Rask is going to say, let me just cover this. Bad coverage there by the Bruins. They're sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. 11.45 left to go here, first period. Yes, Terrell. Yes. Uh, Toronto taking game three. I hope so, Rodrigo Martinez. That's what we're hoping for. It's going to be a crazy game, man. It's going to be interesting to see how they adapt to that. But they had Milwaukee fans going crazy. I think Golden State will have better fans for sure. But uh, we'll see what they're made of. We'll see what they're made of. Joey Johnson, what's going on, man? 
All right, face-off one. Let me just read this quickly while you run Wayne Gretzky played 31 games for the St. Louis Blues during that time. He scored 37 points and helped the Blues. Yeah, one game of the conference final. That's right. That was, that was great, though, when that trade happened. I was like, wow, I can't believe this guy's getting actually traded from L.A. Like, I never thought he was going to go to another team. Tipped out in front, and Bennington will glove it down. Face-off coming in St. Louis territory. But, yeah, I never thought Gretzky would get traded from L.A. And then he went to St. Louis for that half year, and then he signed with the Rangers until he retired in 1999. Oh, Rocha, you're just an armchair fan. Relax. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen, man. I, I read that before you said it. You don't know what's going to happen. Raptors could just shock you. And Wayne Gretzky's at this game. There he is. Hello, Wayne. He's in St. Louis. And who's getting kicked out of the sake? For, uh, Bozak will be kicked out of the circle. Yep. Gary Bettman's in St. Louis. Wayne Gretzky drinking a Dasani water. Those waters are the worst, though. Welcome, everyone. I think Katie and Clay are both playing game three. Well, we'll find out soon, my man. I wouldn't doubt it. I think Clay's fine. I think Clay's fine. It's just a little bit of a bruise. All right, Bacchus now behind the net. Gunnarsson is giving chase. Bacchus will just wrap around. Nobody there. Krejci will pick up the loose puck for the Bruins in the corner. Met there by Petrangelo trying to get it out. Maroon now on the corner wall. With Carlo, little scrum alongside the board. Someone broke their stick there. Who broke their stick? Looked like it's nobody, but there's Bozak. Oh, yeah, well, someone did break their stick, but I don't know who. Anyway, Sammy Blade now will just chip it in deep. And there's Patrick Maroon giving chase with Clifton. Bumped off the puck by Maroon. Gets it back to the point. There is Pyarco. Pyarco goes, wraps it around for Maroon behind the net. Back in front. Looks in front for O'Reilly. Steer aside there. And there is another little glove saved by Tukarask. 37 left to go. What's up, sperm cell? Wow, you coming to a hockey game? Yeah, how many Stanley Cups does Wayne Gretzky have? He has four. Four Stanley Cups. Uh, well, we'll see. You haven't been here in a long time, my man. We'll just wait, okay? We'll wait. Well, I'll wait till your school's over, okay? Uh, yep, I'm going to be doing not live at the uh, Scotiabank until game five, but I'll be doing games three and four from start to finish. Hopefully game three start to finish. It depends on my son and his baseball game and what time I get back. But the game will start a little after nine o'clock. So I should be home by time to start game three. I'll have everything set up. All I got to do is hit play or stream now and I'll be live for game three. Game four, I'll be here from start to finish. Yeah, what's up? Christine, yours in here now. Colton Pareko belted behind the net, and there's a little shot out in front. Nice chance there by Moore, and, or Celia, or Noel. Noel, number 55. I can't pronounce that guy's name. Rocha, you like to be the king of pronunciations. 55. 55 for Boston. How do you say that? What's good, pimps? Yeah, what's up, pimps? Yeah, the 12 year old acting like a little pimp himself. What does John Wink want? What does John Wick want now? I don't know. What does he want? Dustin Johnson, PB, PGA, and Gretzky stories in St. Louis. I could probably sell TMZ. Yeah, Dustin Johnson, man. That guy was a party animal before he met Janet Jackson and Wayne Gretzky's daughter, Paulina. But they have a kid together, so. And she is very, very, well, I don't know about now. When she was younger, she was, like, super. I think she still is, but back when she was, like, in her 20s. Whew. But I can't believe how old she is. I remember when she was born, too. It's just, like, see how old I am? Damn you people for hitting the dislike. Why would you dislike a hockey stream when there's nobody here? You just feel cool? I blame you, Chris Senor. You were the last one in here. Ah, I tried, Joey. But yeah, I'll be live for those games. I might be a little bit late for game three, depending on how long it takes to get home, because we're an away team. If it was home, I would be home in no time. I would be home in 15 minutes, and that would be it. I would be home by like 8.30. But... Uh, we're on the road for this week. And who knows? It depends on weather, too. It all depends on weather. If it rains, it gets postponed. Then uh, if it gets postponed, and if I'm live right at 9 o'clock or a little bit beforehand, then you'll know why. If I'm live right on time. Or I could be just live and say, yeah, the game happened. You're going to re-download GTA. There you go. Everyone wants to play GTA with us now and there. That's awesome. I disliked you found me. Yeah, I, I know you little dude 
<laughs> Little dude. Yeah, my kid. Hey, we can have the 12 year olds battling against each other, Rocha. I'll get my kid to play too. The two 12 year olds. But my kid will probably will smash Christine Yor in baseball. You probably strike him out every single time. How tall are you, Christine Yor? I'm not. I'm just being a smart ass about that last comment. But how tall are you, though, for a 12 year old? I'm being serious, little dude. <laughs> okay, how tall are you though, Christine? You're, that's a serious question. Little big dude, how about that? You're 4'11"? Okay. And you're 12? When are you going on 13, my man? If you don't mind me asking. When's your birthday? All right, here we go. Back to the game. 9.45 left to go. First period. Still one nothing Blues. And here comes a 2-on-1. Oh, can't get the play across. Looking for Tarasenko. And Johansson will pick it up for the Bruins. Johansson now into St. Louis territory. Johansson will take a shot, tipped away by Gunnarsson, out in front. And there is in the crease, back to the point it goes. And Shen will pick it up for the Blues, and he's going to get it off to center. And here comes Heinen now with the puck back at the point. Heinen shielding, gets it off to Chara, takes a shot, tipped, and nobody there on the side of the net. Tarasenko will pick it up for the Blues, gives it off to Petrangelo. Nice pass up the middle for Shen. Finds Schwartz, Schwartz back to Shen. Shen, and there is going to be an offside. I'm 13 now. Oh, November 3rd. Okay, so you're 4'11", 13 right now. By the time November 30th hits, you're going to be 14. Oh, my son's going to be 13 September 29th. And by the time September, November 30th, he'll be 13. You'll be 14. And you're 411. My kid's five foot nine. <laughs> five foot nine at 12. Fun facts. It is nice, you little pimp. He's just a big oaf. But he's got baseball and he's got hockey when he wants to be. But you're, you probably would do daylights around him in soccer. Daylights, you'd probably burn him. You'd be like Messi, and he would be like nobody. Danny DeVito, nice. All right, here we go. Rushing up the middle is Steen. We'll give it off to Sunkfist. Sunkfist will just stop on the sidewall. Back to the point it goes. Pyarico takes a shot, tipped out in front by Barbushev. Stopped by Rask. Whistle. Krug is uh, pushing with his hands. Yeah, you definitely would blow him out in soccer. He played soccer. We let him play for a couple of years. He was a goalie one year but they had those little baby nets like not baby nets but they were decent size they were bigger than him still but they were like easy nets but you could still score on them if you wanted but he was a good goalie he was a good goalie for that never played the uh, with the big nets as, as a goalie but he played i think three years ago after our baseball season ended they needed kids for soccer so they they asked if he wanted to come play right away so he's like yeah so he played and he scored a goal and that was pretty funny but he's not very good He's not very good at soccer. He likes to play it, though, just for fun. He's, I don't think he'll play on a team again. But he was all right. Nobody calls me Danny DeVito. Yeah, Rooney? Nah, yeah, okay. Maybe Rooney when he's older, not Rooney in his prime. You could be Messi in his prime. My kid will be Rooney when he's old and fat. Plays for DC United. How about that, Rooney, okay? All right, Sammy Blay now comes into the zone. Blay? Blay looks to make a play. Can't. Ooh, that should be a penalty on Blay. He's holding on the corner. Not, the puck's not even around. They're not going to call it. All right. Maroon now will pick it up for the Blues. Behind the net he goes. Maroon goes for a skate. Looks to get it back to the point for Petrangelo. A little wrist shot. Wide. Bozak can't get a stick on it. There's Dunn. Bumped off the puck by Achari. Okay, there we go. Achari. Sounds like Atari. Achari. And they're just going to flip it down. And that's going to be offside. That's going to be a glove pass, hand pass, offside. Whatever you want to call it. Come on, Curley. Curley. I'm 5'1", and I still hit dingers. Yeah, my kid loved that kid last year, man. They were always joking with that kid when the World Series was starting on for the Little Leaguers. They would always do that. They would do practice videos, and mom would take a video of all, all of the kids, and they'll be like, hi, I'm so-and-so, and I hit dingers. And they would post them to their Instagrams. It's kind of funny. Rooney is trash. He is now, but he was good back in the day. But there we go. All right. Perron trying to get the puck out in front. David Perron now. Blunt and Hooks goes against Krejci on the sidewall. Bumped off the puck. No call. Riley can't get the puck. And here comes David Backus for the Bruins. Just going to chip it in. Met there by Edmondson's elbows. And the bro. Oh, big hit there by Backus on O'Reilly. I guess he's getting payback. Oh, a little bit of jousting there on the side of the net. David Perron now will get the puck in deep for the Blues. Picked off there. And here comes McAvoy. He gets it up to the middle. 
but Petrangelo trying to get it back to the line gets it off to Sanford Sanford now gets it off to center but the Bruins are going to pick up the loose puck Charlie McAvoy swings it across for Chara back up to the left side for Heinen Heinen now button hooks bumped off the puck there by Shen here comes Chara real shot stop shot scores Charlie Coyle off the rebound and it is 1-1 ladies and gentlemen Good stop by Bennington on the original shot, but there is Coyle to pick up the loose rebound and just pumped it home. And we have a 1-1 game. That would be fun to watch, Christine Orr. That would actually would be fun to watch. I should get my son to play some Fortnite, like one-on-one -on -one against some of these people, like your age group. Maybe he would like to play with you. I don't know, but he's very shy, but you never know. There you go. Boo. Boo. Hockey stinks. No, it don't. Yeah, Charlie Coyle was the fresh man coming off the bench there. But yeah, good shot there by Chara. And right, big rebound. Bennington gave up a nice juicy rebound, and Coyle just picked up the loose change and said, hey, let me take that for a goal. All right, 1-1 one, one now, guys. 6.35 left to go in the opening period. In game four, Johansson now on the sidewall. Gets it up to Tarasenko. Vladimir Tarasenko now comes in for the Blues. Tarasenko goes one-on-one -on -one against Chara. Button hooks, waits, takes a little snapshot, gloved by Rask. No rebound. Face off deep in Boston territory. Yep, they have never won a Stanley Cup. Rondon, you are correct. 1970 was the last time they were in it, I believe. We Moth Mass Very Own. There you go. Oh, is that uh, Charlie Coyle you're talking about? St. Louis Blues. Hey, what's up, Emir? Yeah, it's 1 1 now. Tell your mods to stop spoilers. Oh. I guess there's spoilers in the chat, guys. Maybe just wait until I announce the goal. Mods. Colby is punching air. He was probably happy at the beginning of this game. All right, back to the point. Boomeister gives it off to Sunfist, who's just going to wrap it around for Steen. Alex Steen now looks to make a play. Gets it out in front. Nobody home, but there's Brad Marchand for the Bruins. He's going to come out and carry it out himself. Brad Marchand skates into St. Louis territory. Button hooks. Looks to make a play. Back to the point. Can't get it there. Takes a shot. That's going to be offside, I believe. He did call it offside. Colby is punching air. Yes. But I uh, guess mods, you guys are watching the game too, I bet, on your screen. So if you're seeing goals and you're announcing in the chat before I actually get to it, you guys might want to refrain just a little bit until I actually make the goal call. Goal, goal, goal call. Joey, if you were here, I said my son plays baseball this Wednesday for game three. He plays at six o'clock. Game will end about eight. We're on the road this time, so we it'll take about 20, 25 minutes to get home after the game because they're going to be packing stuff up, so it's going to take time. I might be home right at 9, or I might be home a little after. All I got to do is, once I get home, is hit that play button on, on OBS, and I'll be live for Game 3. It could be on time. It could be into it for a couple of minutes. Who knows? But I will be here for Game 3. Game 4, I will be here from start to finish. Everything will be ready, and we'll be here for Game 4. Okay, well, I just wanted to make sure whoever's saying goal and in the chat, but that's good. All right, cool. Willie Willie's here. What's up, Willie? How you doing tonight, man? Thanks for coming through. We're just watching hockey tonight. Stanley Cup Finals, just like the NBA Finals. Two teams left in the hockey playoffs. Talon, double-A baseball. Uh, no, he plays select still, but he plays uh, also, he plays Pee Wee Select. Uh, but he plays Bantam Select 2 now. So he has, he plays with kids that are 14 and 15 year olds. So he plays a, a year, two years as high as two years older. And he's doing pretty good in Bantam. He's one of their better players, believe it or not. And he's got a wood bat now. Holy crap, man. That kid can smoke a wood bat. But uh, he struggled in his first Pee Wee game. Went 0 for 2, unfortunately. But he's going to get better. And we bought him a, well, Grandma bought him a new bat, a 32, because he needed a longer one because he's so tall. And these baby bats, like the 30s, aren't very good for him because they're too small. So we got him, uh, Grandma got him a 32, 32, 30, and he loves it. He loves it. Uh, 
I got a week off. I'm chilling and watching Roach is still be salty about them sharks. <laughs> yeah, it's been over a week and he's still salty. I thought he said he would get over it. Well, at least he's in the chat tonight. About time. Well, it's about time I did an actual live game for a, a while. And I remember, I don't know if you're still here, Rocha, but I'm going to talk about it. We were talking about it in the last baseball stream I did. You were talking about views for baseball compared to hockey. I do better in baseball. <laughs> I do better in baseball. Those games that I've done for baseball have been a lot better, except for that Colorado-Toronto game. That was under 1,000, but like San Francisco, the Giants game were better than, uh, than the hockey. But you never know. We might get some people in here. So here comes a two-on O'Reilly. Swing passes it across for David Prong. Not going to get there. And that's going to be offside on the Blues. They're going to touch it. And it's going to be a face-off outside the line. I uh, use wooden bats too, but I need a new one. Yeah, man. This kid with the bat, I couldn't believe how great he is with it. But he's not allowed to use it in Pee Wee. So he has two bats for two separate leagues. Pee Wee, he's allowed to use metal. He wants to use his wood bat in Pee Wee, but they, that's a rule. You can't use wood bats in Pee Wee. He has to use the metal one. So... It is what it is. I'm not familiar with hockey and how to play it. He put his in. Okay, cool. We'll just just hang around and I can try to teach you some stuff, but I do play by play a lot. I try to watch my TV a lot more than basketball, but the chat's good. Uh, 19 for 30 with 15 home runs. Wow, look at you. Giants or Giants? Uh, San Francisco Giants. Yeah, it's crazy that you're doing better than... Yeah, exactly. Last year was fun doing it because actually I think I had more views in last year's Stanley Cup. Nordstrom will get it down low and a Siri will be will pick up the loose puck for the Bruins gets it around Curley gives it off to Hyman and they're gonna just dump it back into Boston territory 4 4 4 55 left to go here first period 1-1 one, one game I wish the Knights made it well they made it last year Tommy H Johansson now will pick it up. Little drop pass for Heinen. Trying to get it back to Johansson. Can't get it to him. And there's Sammy Blay will pick it up and gets it off to the corner for Schwartz. Finds Shen now. Braden Shen now looks to get it back into the middle. Back to the point. Gets it off to Petrangelo. Nice little toe drag. Takes a shot. Scores! Vladimir Tarasenko. And it's 2-1 to one St. Louis. Made the save originally off the right pad, but there was the rebound, and Vladimir Tarasenko chipped it over top shelf where Mama keeps the cookies, and we have a 2-1 to one lead for the Blues. Beautiful. There we go. 8-1 to one a blowout loss? Nope. Boo. I don't have a hockey play-by-play -play voice, guys. I think my voice is too raspy. I don't like my play-by-play -play for hockey when they score. You know what I mean? All right, here we go. Jay Boomeister will just wrap it around deep. Left. And O'Reilly's going to give chase. Or Steen's going to get it back to the point for Pryorka. Little snapshots blocked out in front by McAvoy. There's Boomeister. Tips it out in front. Here's some pressure here. Steen. And McAvoy do battle. Sungfist now behind the net. Gets it back to the point for Pyarco. Back up top for Boomeister. Tipped out in front. Steer aside. And Rask is going to say, let me hang on to this because Barbashev was right there. And there's more pressure by the Blues. And the crowd is jacked here in St. Louis. The amazing Rocha again. Oh, did he really? See, Rocha? I don't know, man. But... You didn't say anything. Okay, thank you. Some of us are on boats. Probably a delay. Yeah. Oh, man. That's the thing, man. Yeah, YouTube's weird, man. I'm on a delay. So, like, you guys will probably see the score pop up on the stream before I actually call the goal. And then I call it. And then Rocha will go right after I call it, if anything. But it's, it's difficult, bud. I apologize, dude. Okay. I, I, I just don't know what to say, Mr. Dunn. I apologize, but hey, at least it's a good thing, right? At least it's a good outcome. At least it's a result and a goal for your team. Maybe during the game, just listen to my voice like a radio. And then you, when they score, you put, come into the chat. How about that? And then I'll talk to you when you type quickly. All right, Petrangelo is just going to wrap it around. 325 left to go in the opening period. Two to one blues here. Schwartz is going to be on the sidewall with O'Reilly. Carlos trying to get this puck out. Can't get wraps it around his own net. There's Krug. Now we'll pick it up for the Bruins. Krug. Pressured there by Schwartz. Krug goes behind his net. Sets up the offense behind the net. Krug. Pressured now coming from Shen. Krug. 
trying to get that puck out gets it off to debruska he's just going to backhand it in deep and that's going to be icing against the bruins what's up marge yes D doesn't get it no worries all right sorry ron oh let's go blues there's colby from punching air to probably high-fiving his shadow in his room giving hugs to his shadow why is this guy praying already man it's already the first period blues record in the home they're under 500 ladies and gentlemen their home record during these playoffs are five and six that's weird and the Bruins will win the draw. Krug was just going to rip it off the sidewall. Can't get it out. Petrangelo will keep it in, and he's going to backhand it in deep. There's Maroon now on the corner. Patrick Maroon now will get shielded off the puck on the corner, trying to get that puck back down low. Does. Blay there behind the net as well, trying to get it off to Bozak. Bozak, DeBrusque will come to the sidewall. He's going to punch it out with his hand, but that's allowed in the defensive zone. And that's going to be chipped down into St. Louis territory. 2.29 left to go here, first period. Blay now will come in for St. Louis. Sammy Blay trying to cut out in front. Picked off the puck there by, by Moore. Clifton now trying to get this puck off, and there's Nordstrom. He's just going to flip it off. And that's going to be all the way down. That could be icing. And that's going to be icing against the Bruins. Face-off coming deep in Boston territory. 2.21 left to go. Takuma. Yes. Let's go, Blues. Blues are a better road team than home team. Yes. If they win this game tonight, they'll be 6-6 six and six in these playoffs. 6-6. Six and six. What's up, Bruce Davis? How you doing? Thanks for coming through. Even though it's not a basketball stream, we're doing the Stanley Cup Finals. Game 4. Face off one by the Blues. Tarasenko just going to wrap it around the net. Looks for Shen. Shen will pick it up behind the net. Back to the point it goes. Nope. Can't get it to him. Nordstrom will pick up the loose puck. And he's going to get it out to center. Petrangelo now. Or Pyarco will pick up the loose puck for the Blues. He's just going to give it back down low for Boomeister. Boomeister now. Outlet pass up the wing. Comes in. Looks for shorts. A little bit too saucy. And Moore will pick it up for Boston. Who will give it off to Clifton. Back to Moore. Moore. We'll just dump it in. Tipped in by Heinen. Coyle gives chase. Petrangelo behind the net. We'll just wrap it around. Heinen will pick it off. Gets it back to the point. McAvoy can't keep the puck in. And it's going to come back out. Char will pick it up for the Bruins. Back to McAvoy. 125 left to go here. First period. Tipped in by Heinen. And there is Gunnarsson. He's just going to backhand it around the wall. Trying to get that puck out to center. They do. Sanford was going to give chase. But they're going to make a line change here. McAvoy. Behind his own net. We'll hand it off to Johansson. Nice move by Johansson. Johansson will come up on the right-hand side, trying to cut back in the middle. Can't cut off there. Heinen will pick up the loose puck. But UA Boomeister will pick it up for the Blues. He's just going to wrap it up on the left side. Finds Barbashev. Barbashev now will just chip it in. Barbashev gives chase, and Krug will give chase. Krug belts it off the puck. And there is McAvoy. We'll just dump it down into St. Louis territory. Boomeister will give it off to Pyarco. Back to Boomeister. Boomeister under a minute left to go here in this first period. 40 seconds left. Chipped in. Sunkface is going to go against two Bruins into the corner. Bumps them both off the puck. Bergeron. Big hit by Barbashev. And there is Steen will pick up the loose puck. The fourth line going to work. Sunkface back out in front looking for Barbashev. And the puck's going to be chipped out. And there is a chase going on. Petrangelo will get there first. Gives it off to Pyarco. Pyarco will get it off to the line and get it out deep and in deep. That could be icing against the Blues, and that will be icing against the St. Louis Blues with 14.2 seconds left. I'm doing well, Takuma. How are you? I do love hockey. It was a little bit sad. Of course, you think it would be happy, Takuma? No, the fans were dejected. They were pretty upset yesterday. Very quiet. I don't know what TV provider I should use to do play-by-play. -play. You can use them all. Colton Poireco. No, it's not Poireco. It's Pyarco. Pyarco. That I know, Rocha. You can't tell me differently. You Americans say it differently. He's from my, my province, just outside of the Edmonton. It's Pyarco. Beat that. And that's going to end the first period, ladies and gentlemen. St. Louis with a 2-1 to one lead. We are at the intermission for a fun first quarter. Yeah, not first quarter. Period, Rocha, you American Yankee boy. Damn. Get it together now. Fun first period. Yeah, Rocha, you're an LA Kings fan? That's awesome, Bruce Davis. 
crazy mofo is as well you guys can be a great great duo oh we got the prospects here jack hughes oh man the turcot's gonna in the building they're having the first uh the top five prospects or top four uh, they're here at the game four tonight, so they're going to be interviewed during this first intermission. But I just saw the one that I wanted the Oilers to draft, but he shot up the rankings in the last mock draft, and he was projected to go eighth in January. Now he's projected to go top five. So he might be even picked as high as four. Four or five, Alex Turcott. I wanted him on the Oilers, but looks like his draft just rose up tremendously. And there was a goalie at the NHL Combine. I don't know what team he played for, but I was reading an article. His combine, he scored out of 18 events. He was number one for eight of them. Crazy. No, it's not Paul Rako. It's not Paul Rako. Are you kidding me? Get out of here, Rocha. Paul, Paul Rako. No. Nah. Not Chief. Nah. That is hilarious. Cousins, he's great too. I like that kid. I would like him to go to the Oilers. He's 6'4". Is it Dylan Cullins? No, it's... Uh, I don't think he's on there. I didn't see him, but maybe he might... I'll let you know if he's on there. But uh, I saw uh, Kako, Hughes, and Turcott. Those are the only three I saw. I didn't see the other two quickly, but I, I will let you know if it is. But Cousins, that would be a great pick, man. But I think he's going to be picked high, too. You damn poutine lovers. Yeah. Doc says it. Poe Rako. Poe Rako. Poe Rako. Nah, Chiefs. Nah, Chiefs. Damn, you were right, sir. Blues going hard. Play. Yeah, they are. Go get it. I told you, man. They have to. It's do or die for them. They go down 3-1. to one, They're losing game five. Good stuff, Bruce Davis. I'm glad everything's going well for you. Piarco. Goddamn asshole. <coughs> Just kidding. Uh, MH, what's going on, man? Welcome. Just wait for the Dodgers game. Why? Oh, you're waiting for the Dodgers game? And don't mind the scoreboard, guys. That's what happens during the intermission during this website. They always put WestJet and whatever whatever they do. This is what they do. I can move it down. No, I can't. It'll go away once the second period starts. This is just like what they have the shots on goal and everything like that. It's like a ticker that they have. Uh, Toronto is proud of the real king. Yeah. Who is their real king? Me? I'm the king of the north. Well, get ready though, Golden State. That's what the ad says. The true king of the north. The king of the north is coming. So we'll see what they do. Nice. That game should be starting in an hour, right? Or is that starting soon? 10 o'clock? Do you have Western? No, I don't have no sponsors. It's just my webpage that I use the scoreboard from. Every time during uh, intermission, that will pop up. It's just... Uh, It'll be there. It's just an intermission report. After 20 minutes, goals 2 to 1, shots on goal 13 and 9 in favor of the Blues, hits 24 to 16, and power play 0 for 0 for both teams. They just post that on there all the time. Coach's corner. Not sure, bro. Who pick just got home? Oh, uh, doesn't matter to me, but I think St. Louis. I picked them to win the series in six. Oh, 940 East. Okay. Oh, that's right. I did a game with the Dodgers last week at 940 it was a weird time 945 or something like that uh, I'm not okay uh, positions in hockey you have a guy at center uh, left wing right wing those are the forwards and then you have two defensemen and you have a goalie so you have five players on a or you have six guys on the ice at all times and you can change lines there's like three different lines four different lines for forwards and three for defensive pairings. So there's like 12 forwards, three, six, nine, 12 forwards, usually about six defensemen, maybe seven, and it all depends. And you have the goalies. Do you have two goalies? Oh uh, yeah, the D-backs and Dodgers tonight. That's gonna be a fun game. It's gonna be a fun game for sure. Good stuff. Who's pitching today for you guys? Who's pitch? Oh, I know Ray's pitching. I have him on my fantasy team. Ouch! I I left him to, I left him hanging today. Where did the picks? Uh, they pick fifth. Bruce Davis. They pick fifth. That's where the draft starts. That's where the draft starts. Everyone's saying once uh, the Kings get to the fifth pick, that's where the real draft starts because there's rumors and stuff. Rumors about who goes where in the top four, and the Kings have a choice because whoever is picked at the fourth spot. 
that player that was supposed to go four will go fifth. So the draft will start with the Kings because everyone's thinking the top four picks are going to be, let me just see, this mock draft that I read, let me just read it. Let's see if I can find that one. That's the one I always go to. Um, and I shall, there it is. Let me see this. Uh, right now it's like, okay, this one says Jack Hughes, Kako, Alex Turcott, like I was saying, three, uh, Zegres, four, and then Byram at five for the Kings. Bowen Byram, he's a defenseman. Don't know if they need a defenseman. And then Cousins will be picked six. That's just the one I read. But now this one right here, this draft says this is from 21 hours ago. So I'll read this one quickly. Uh, what's up, Ninja? Uh, I heard about it, MH. I haven't been watching it, but we, uh, we've we been talking about it a little bit. Waker Bueller? Cousins? All right. Well, this draft mocking where, okay, Hughes first. Uh, Hughes first, Kako second, Blackhawks take Turcotte third, uh, Cousins will go fourth to Colorado. See, that would have been Ottawa's pick, but they were stupid. And then fifth, fifth will be, yeah, Bowen By- Byram, the defenseman. That's interesting. And then six would be Zegris, seven to the Sabres will be Caulfield. And nine will eight would be Edmonton, and they get Philip Broberg, a defenseman from. Oh God, come on, man! Get rid of the pick, then, if they're going to do that. I don't know. People are saying that Cousins will be going there too, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's why they have these mock drafts. Cousins would be huge. I would love to have Cousins in Edmonton. That's for sure. Who's sixth? Oh, geez, I just took that down. I just took it down. Let me just go back. Let me go back. I'll just read uh, from that one page. And it, there we go. Let's go. Where are we? Uh, my mock. Yes, can't believe the century. Yeah. They almost. It, can you imagine if Ottawa would have got the first overall this year? Could you imagine if they would have got the first overall this year? That would have went to Colorado. All right. So first is New Jersey, Rangers, Chicago, Colorado, L.A., Detroit, Buffalo, Edmonton, Anaheim and Vancouver round out the top 10. What came in the mail? Well, we'll see what happens, Bruce Davis. Uh, that could be a good replacement for uh, Doughty once he becomes older. So he's a good defensive prospect. He's big, 6'1", 191. That's pretty good size. And he's a right-handed shot, I think. Or no, he's not. He's left-handed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. Yeah, Prudential Center is going to get some good stuff, man. You got Taylor Hall, Nico Hersher, and Hughes, the Triple H line. That should be their theme music. Time to play the game. Entertainer, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to join me? Do you want to join me and watch this game with me? Or, oh, no, you're doing Talking Giants with... That's right, forget it. You're doing something with uh, Mr. Bad Doggy. I forgot you were talking about... There's someone in the chat saying you guys are doing something tonight, Talking Giants. Never mind. Larson for Hall. It was good at the time, John. No, it wasn't. But it was good that one year. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember. What were you saying? You said you just moved. Is that your new place that you're in now? But then someone was saying you're moving again? Brett Batty. Nice name. (laughs) Meet the Mets. We got Brett Batty on the Mets. Wow, okay. What's up, Carone? Is back in the chat. No, I'm I'm moving. I moved back home. Oh, so you're back with the Brents. Got it. Oh, this hair is terrible. I gotta get a hair. Oh, Dylan Cousins. Yes, he's there. Dylan Cousins is right there. All right, he scores. The guy talks like this. He scores. 
but yes oh, okay so you moved back to long island for a month are you moving down south tana please involve or divulge this information may i ask nicely for a blue juicy wrench uh you can ask but that will be denied right now uh cousins is a be beast the best canadian player in the draft for sure yeah he, he will be the first canadian drafted they were saying there's no canadians in the top five but he probably will go top five but he will be the first canadian taken hi i'm jack hughes his brother plays for vancouver plus he has a younger brother that will be drafted next year so they're you're gonna have the hughes brothers all in the nhl so yeah jack play is gonna play for the devils his other brother was picked last year eighth i think eighth or ninth overall or seventh and he was drafted by vancouver so you got hughes two hughes and one more coming way better than the other channels mods need to chill on the goals give my mermaid girlfriend a shout for being a blues fan what's up mermaid girlfriend are you swimming tonight are you looking for some treasures underneath the sea clean is first without any p yeah exactly there you go water king don't worry this is the first meeting uh, we'll see about that water king. What's up 3m go warriors. No No This is not a warrior stream any talk about the warriors you guys will be timed out just saying Opinions there's no opinions. I have no opinions for Philly 500. He doesn't get that luxury right now until he makes it right until then, Philly 500, I don't know the man. I will not discuss Philly 500. Yeah, Wow was right, Rocha, you heard me. You heard me. It doesn't matter, they'll go. They'll go one and two. They always, they, just because they don't do the combine, they, uh, Kako and, uh, Kako and Hughes played in the world championships for their countries. Kako is a world champion. They won the championship over Canada. But uh, they just played some hockey for the last two weeks, so they're probably a little banged up. So I don't doubt it. They're, they're still going to go one and two. And if they don't, I'll give you one million doll hairs. He signed for another deal, though, uh, Water King. He signed another one-year deal late in the season. But I think it's safe that he does one year deals, if anything. But I don't know. Maybe he will. F fourth? Why? Oh, yeah. No win for you. Yeah, definitely, MH. Definitely. He is uh, a tough one to go against. He's a great defender. He takes pride in his defense. That's why he says he's the best defender of all time. You don't have that uh, mindset. Why are you even playing? He said it right during his uh, post game in game one. Doesn't matter, Chris Senior. Doesn't matter. Come to GTA and talk that trash. We'll see what happens. I'll knock you off the racetrack. I'll make you rage quit like a typical 12 year old. Yep. Yep. No, I know. I, yeah, yeah I think that will happen, but yeah, Charo can still play. I remember when he was drafted, man. 1997. Pretty sure you're right, MH. Alrighty. Draft is on June 21st. They're just announcing that now. Let's go. We're very close. Let's see how long. Let's see. This week will be the seventh, and we'll have the draft in two weeks. Damn. Time's flying, man. This whole season for hockey and basketball. So quick. So quick.
I like those old school blues jerseys, but I think that guy has an Asian knockoff one, though. He was wearing it in the crowd. Next. Nah, you won't do anything, Christine. Nope. He is not. That is Christy Entertainer's son. Still waiting for. Yeah, you got the last pick of the first round. And the draft pick from last year's uh, draft didn't sign with the Dodgers. He was there was only two teams that I think didn't sign their first round picks. And why would you not sign with the Dodgers? Hmm. There you go. See. All right. Well, I'm not a legend in the game, but push comes to shove, you'll learn firsthand. Good day, Sandra. 25th and 31st picks. Yeah, yeah, that's right because they didn't sign their first round pick last year. Yeah, I know. He's going to have to go to a Maury Povich and find out who's his father. <laughs> Christina will be on that show like 8 billion times. I think this is my dad. <laughs> no, it's true, man. It's true. Christine Yor. Oh, that's right. Raw's on right now. See how I like Monday Night Raw's on Monday now? Nope. Both Italians, yeah. I can only imagine the dinner table of Chris Senior and Chris the Entertainer were having dinner, eating their linguine, talking sports. That'd be funny. No mom involved, just them two at the table, eating linguine, talking sports, playing video games with each other on weekends. Chris got a, got a big problem. Son obsession is real, but hey, what do you expect coming from a 12-year-old child? Wow, easy, Water King. Easy, bro. That's not going to win you any fans. Both short. Yep. Favorite Italian on YouTube? I don't know. I guess a mixture of Mr. Bad Dog and Chris the Entertainer. I think that's the only Italians I know. <laughs> Both like pizza and chicken parm. Yeah, chicken parm in Long Island is really good. There was a place in Glen Cove, right by their movie theater. There was an Italian restaurant just literally steps away from the movie theater. And they had the best chicken parm. All right, we're getting ready to start this second period, kids. Yeah, my favorite ones are Bad Dog and Chris the Entertainer. Chris Senior. Uh, it does. Chicken parm. But that one in Long Island, man. Woo. All right. Let's go. Second period is about to get underwear. Make some noise. Oh, yeah, Chris Senior? Interesting. I forget what I think it was called. La, La Familia. La Familia. I think that was just the restaurant. Was it called? Could be wrong though. But yeah, man, that place had the best chicken parm. So good. All right, here we go. Charlie McAvoy will get it up to center, trying to chip it in deep. But O'Reilly will chip it, and now Krejci will chip it into his own bench. So it's going to be a face-off outside the St. Louis Blue Line. No pizza, no calzones, anything. Just pasta. I think I would eat lasagna a lot. And I would eat chicken parms. I'm going to say St. Louis will get the next goal. Just because they got to put the pedal to the metal in this game. See, told you the scoreboard's back. It just does it during the second intermission. What's up, Card? Glad I could make it. Well, thanks for coming through, Dave Sports Quest. We're just starting the second period. Tarasenko with the go-ahead goal here. And here comes Braden Shen now on the half wall, trying to get that puck around the net. He's fighting with it with Coyle. McAvoy's in there. Schwartz is in there. Big four-man scrum. McAvoy using his body against Schwartz. Nice pin up there by Coyle. 
He's going to come out with the puck and gives it off to Chara, who's going to give it off to the left-hand side for Brad Marchand. Shamario Hansen, never mind. Marcus Johansson back to the point, finds Krug, takes a little snapshot. Nobody there. Heinen now will pick it up for the Bruins. Heinen goes for a skate. Nice pass across for Clifton, and he's just going to wrap it around the net for Johansson. Can't get the puck out. Krug will keep it in. Nice pass across for Coyle. Coyle gets it back out in front, and nobody there. Schwartz will pick it up for the Blues. Does a little button hook around his net. And there's going to be line changes coming. Gets it off to center. Shen bumped off the puck by Clifton. Tarasenko now will give him a little shot. And here we got line changes for both teams. Krug will get it up the middle. Nice pass upside for Brad Marchand. Snapshot out in front. Oh, right in pads of Bennington, but he's going to hang on. That was right in his pads, and he just covers it up. Face-off coming in St. Louis territory. Oh, you had to take care of a dog. Well, that's okay, man. It's all good. Alfredo for me. Had to leave in a couple minutes, though. That's all good. Thanks for coming through, though, man. I just want to ask you, do you remember the Glen Cove movie theater? Do you remember that pasta place just right down the street from that movie theater? What was it called? Was it La Familia? I think it was. But um, they had the best chicken parm sandwiches ever. Ever. All right. Pastor Knack will get it around for Marshawn. Back to the point it goes for... Carlo, who's just going to wrap it around the net? There's David Pasternak. Goes against Pyarco. And here comes Bergeron. Wraps it around for Marshawn. Marshawn now. Looks to get it out in front. Can't get it to anybody. Barbashev will get it off to center. Perug will get it to the line. And Pasternak is going to backhand it in diagonally. Brad Marchand there. Bowie Meister will give chase. Back to the point for Carlo. Takes a snapshot. Tipped out in front. Good stop by Bennington. Steen will get it out to center. Barbashev bowls his man over. What's up, Catman? He's back. He's back. High stick? No. Nope. Yes. High stick. Touch with the high stick. Face off deep in St. Louis territory coming. Jeremy Hansman. Hello. Ready for the NBA draft, Tana? He literally said he was coming in and then he's got to go. So he left probably. Going to be doing his own show with Mr. Bad Dog. So if you guys want to go check out Mr. Bad Dog and the Giants talk, they will be going live probably soon. Boston. Boston. All right. Krejci. Well, Krejci. David Krejci. Kicked out of the circle. David Backus now will come in. Wins the draw cleanly. Back to Moore. Moore will take a wrist shot. Stopped by Biddington. Rebound. And it's going to be Edmondson trying to chip the puck up to the line. There is Sanford. We'll give it off to O'Reilly. O'Reilly will back it in. Perron will give chase. And Moore will get there first. He's just going to wrap it around. Trying to get it to the line. Can't get the puck out. There is David Perron now. Looks. Waits. Backhands it around the net. Finds O'Reilly. Can't get it to him. But there's McAvoy. Will pick up the loose puck. Finds Krejci. Now we'll get it out. And here comes Jabrusk. Jake Jabrusk will come in, backhands it in, and Bennington's just going to hang on to it. Another faceoff coming deep in St. Louis territory. I definitely do with Shampoo MH. I definitely do that. You are absolutely correct. Sox losses the series two to one. Yes, I'm all right, man. That's all good, man. It's still early in the season. I wouldn't be worried, Cat Man. But yeah, the Rankies are looking pretty damn good with that Triple A squad they got going. Ah, they shouldn't have sweeped in. Goose seventy six Sports. What's going on, man? Welcome. McAvoy will get it back, but it's going to be tipped out by Schwartz, and Chara is going to give chase for the Bruins. He's just going to flick it to the line. Can't get the puck out. Here's Shen now. Takes a little wrist shot, blocked out by Chara, and he's injured. Zidane Chara is on the ice, but he's and he's bleeding. He got hit right in the face with that puck. Zidane Chara busted open, and he's oh, he got hit right in the mouth. So he's gonna go right to the locker room, ladies and gentlemen. Zidane Chara got hit right in the face with the puck. Kerry, hi, what's up, Kerry? Yes, yes. He is bleeding. I think he got hit right in the mouth. Let me see this again. The replay comes and where did it go? Off his stick? Yeah, off his stick right into his mouth. Right into the mouth. Probably lost a couple of teeth. I wouldn't doubt it. But yeah, that one right off his chin, face, mouth. Yep, even looking at close up, it was right in his mouth. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. 
But they're hockey players. He'll be back in about five minutes' time. He'll get stitched up, and he'll be back. That's how hockey players operate, guys. They'll be back. Is that Bob Essensa? Does Bob Essensa work for the Bruins uh, management team? Oh, and I met somebody from the Golden State Warriors last night that was in the front office. <laughs> I served him last night. He had the big Golden State Warriors ring on. He let me look at it. It was pretty cool. He was a nice dude, too. He told me, thanks for making us feel very welcome. You're a very positive guy. I'm like, thanks, man. And he tipped me five doll hairs. Uh, he'll be back, Elias. It's a hockey. Come on, man. You know this. Nah, broken jaw. He'll be back anyway. He'll come back with a shield. Just watch. I forget. He looked like uh, Jay Wright from Villanova's head coach. All right, here we go. Ooh, done with a high riser. And that's going to be tipped and out of play. Based off coming in Boston territory. He didn't get killed. He won out for, on his own power. He got up and he went right to the locker room. Oh, weird, Water King. But I think Chara will come back. He will come back. Tie up at the draw. Krug will pick it up behind his net. Outlet pass to the left side, right side. Akari will just get it in. Nordstrom will chip it in. Achari will do battle with Blay. Nordstrom gets the puck back to Achari. And Corelli now can't get the puck out. And here comes Petrangelo, a little mini rush here. And here comes the Blues. Bozak wraps it around for Maroon. Blocker to the side by Rask. Nordstrom will pick up the loose puck, and he's just going to wrap it up to the line. Can't get the puck out, but there is 2-1-1 coming. Nope. This camera angle just messed everything up. Bozak now will pick up the loose puck. That's going to be chipped, but it's going to go right back into St. Louis territory. And Moore will pick up the loose puck for the Bruins. Goes behind his own net. God damn, we got a B inside here or something, man. God damn, now it's a little horse fly. Daniel Voss special, pet fly. All right. Barbashev will get it off to center, and here comes Steen. Takes a little wrist shot, tipped to the corner. Bergeron will backhand it to the wall. Brad Marchand bumps him off the puck, but there is Sunkfist. Moore trying to tie him up behind the net. Bergeron will pick it up for the Bruins, trying to knife it out. Gets it out. And here comes Barbashev. Will pick up the loose puck for the Blues. Swings it across for Boomeister. Gets it to the line but for Sunkfist, but he can't get it. Marchand will just chip it in deep. Bennington can't play. It was too strong. Back to the point it goes. Pasternak there. Krejci's there with him. Trying to get this puck out is Sunkfist. Can't. And there is Pyarko now for Gives it off to Jay Boomeister. Boomeister. Outlet pass for Sunkfist. Trying to get this puck to center does, but there's picked it off by Clifton. Clifton will take a snapshot, and it's going to be wide. Krejci will pick it up on the other side. Back around the net it goes for Bacchus. David Bacchus now goes for a skate. Looks to make a play. Gets it down into the middle, trying to find a tip in for Krejci. Can't get it there. And there's Sanford. We'll pick it up for the Blues. He's going to go for a nice skate. Gets it out to center. Backhands it in. Line change coming for the Blues. Rask will just tip it to the side. And there is Carlo Clifton. Clifton will pick it up for the Bruins with some speed on to the left side. Chipped in by Johansson. Coyle will give chase with Gunnarsson. Coyle trying to get it to Edmondson. Gets it to Edmondson. Johansson there in the corner. And their stick was batted out of his hand. No call coming. And it's going to be flipped to center. And there is a penalty coming. The Bruins are going to get the first power play. Or the Blues are going to get their first power play of the game. A day is going well. Melvin or Kamara? Wow. My bad, Jeremy. What? Oh, you're deleting messages now, Rocha? Good stuff. Keenan Allen or AJ Green? Why are we talking football? Yeah. Rocha's drunk. Yeah, he's off the drunk tank. He's still recovering. And Heinen's going to get the penalty for probably slashing the stick out of his hand. So we got a Blues power play coming. Hiding the dude for posting a link. Oh. He posted a dude for hiding the link? All right. So Moore's trying to get the puck out. Camp Pyrko will keep it in. Here we go. Blues on the power play, ladies and gentlemen. Get it off to Bozak. Back to Pyrko. Finds Tarasenko, who's playing on the left point. And he's going to lose it. And here comes a one-on-one -on -one with Brad Marchand. Pyrko couldn't keep that puck in. And Pyrko is going to get him off the puck. Gets it off to Tarasenko now. Tarasenko, nice move to get around. Tarasenko. And they can't get the puck in deep. But there is O'Reilly. We'll pick it up 
Ryan O'Reilly now met there by Curley. Oh, here it comes out in front, and there's no chance. Patrick Maroon now back to the point it goes, and that's going to be too strong, and it's going to get all the way back into St. Louis territory. Keenan and Rivers. Eh. Eh. All right, Vince done now. We'll get it off to Schwartz. Schwartz will get it off to Shen. Shen looking to make a play back to the point. Can't, and it's going to be dumped back down into St. Louis territory. Bennington looking to make a move. Hands it off to Dunn. Less than a minute to go on this power play. Not much offense here during this power play. Dunn will get it off to Shen. Shen's trying to get the puck. Gets it back. Here comes Shen. Gets it off to Petrangelo. Slides it across to Perron. Back to to uh, Petrangelo. Finds Dunn. Takes a wrist shot. Blocked out there by Carlo. And he's going to dump it down into St. Louis territory again. God damn, man. Wow. All right. Shorts now. We'll pick up the puck, gives it off to Gunnarsson, gets by the defender. Gunnarsson gives it to Schwartz behind the net, trying to get it out in front, Kent, and it's going to be chipped back down. And there's 20 seconds left to go on this power play. Yeah, what's up, Nate? Gunnarsson now will pick up the loose puck, gives it off to Boomeister. Boomeister will bring it in for the Blues. Nine seconds left to go on this power play, just wrapped in. Sunfist will meet it there on the corner. Gives it off to Gunnarsson, back to the point. Looks to get it down low for Barbashev. Trying to slot pass back to the point. Marshawn will just chip it down. And there's Coyle. He's going to be called for icing. So it's going to come back into St. Louis territory. What, what a PK. Yeah. St. Louis did not have very much offense during that power play. Why are we talking football, dudes? This is a hockey stream, guys. I'm not going to talk about that football. I'm not. You guys can talk about football, but I'm not going to re read messages then. Yeah, Nathan is my son's hockey buddy and baseball buddy last year. Dunn takes a little wrist shot. Stop by Rask. How do I do that? I can't even do that on YouTube no more. Oh, wow. Hold on a second. Give me a second. All right. Okay. Done. Done. Joan de la Cruz Bruins. Yes. Joan de la Cruz. Pens fan. Yeah, he likes the goalie, I believe. A fractured collarbone. Yeah. I kind of figured that after like, they were saying it was a chest injury. But uh yeah, that's that's tough, Rocha. So he's done for the playoffs. He's done for the rest of the finals. Who else is um? Uh, who else plays uh, forward like that, like a big forward? You're gonna have Cousins probably starting. Bogut will come off the bench, which is fine. But uh, yeah, that's what's probably gonna have to happen, right? You don't have any more bigger uh, bigger men though, right? The game is boring. Sorry, Sandra. I can't control that. Richard Mathoni says, hey, Brew, great cast. Well, thanks, dude. Thanks for coming through, Richard. One question, sir. If no, if Toronto, if no Toronto teams were in the playoffs, who would you be streaming with? Oh, I would be doing everything. I did it last year, man. Yeah, no, it's not, not just because Toronto's relevant. I, I would have done this if it was Milwaukee and Golden State in the finals. I would have been covering the games. I would have been covering all of them. Jordan Bell. Ooh, but he's small, though, isn't he? How big is Jordan Bell? Oh, sorry about that crazy mofo. Oh, look at that blood on the ice. They were just throwing the, the shovel. Wow. No, I definitely would have been doing all of it. I would have been doing every game. If I didn't have work those nights, I would have been covering every game of the NBA Finals. Doesn't matter if Toronto's in there or not. I will do it regardless. I did it last year. Barbershev will keep it in. Steen will give chase with McAvoy behind the net. Alex Steen will pick up the loose puck for the Blues in the corner. Back to the point it goes. One-timer shot blocked out in front. And Pyarco did not get enough on that. It was blocked. Steen will just chip it back in. Moore will pick up the loose puck and we'll give it off to 
Brad Marchand will give it off to McAvoy. Bergeron will just tip it in deep. Bennington will meet him. Trying to get the puck behind the net. Does. Trying to get this puck out, but they can't get it out. And they're looking to say, is that a... Are they looking to see how did it get there? Pyarco might be getting a penalty for delay of game. Uh, that doesn't hurt as much if Bogut's going to play like he did. Well, yeah, but that's the thing, though. Mm, Looney was really good at offensive rebounds, Rocha. Okay, but I, I know Looney was an offensive machine juggernaut. Like, I, watching his games, man, he was great, but he just, he didn't make a lot of points, but he would get a lot of offensive rebounds to give his team a second chance for points, which is huge. Uh, he may not have been the flashy scorer or whatever, but yeah, those offensive rebounds were killer. So we'll see. That's tough, though. So, yeah, now we got to call on Jordan Bell, I guess, then. Well, that might be a penalty. That might be a penalty. That went off Pyarco. Yeah, that is a penalty on Pyarco. Pareco. See? Pareco. Pareco, Pyarco. Pareco. There we go. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Uh, Sandra, I can't tell him anything. That's not my job. All right, here we go. O'Reilly now comes in shorthanded, takes a bomb. Good stop by Ross. Rebound right in the crease. Ooh, steer aside there by the defender. Ryan O'Reilly almost got a shorthanded goal there. Wow. Tori Krug now will pick it up. These Bruins are deadly on the power play. They were 4 for 4 in game three. Krug now gets it down low. Nice little entry pass for Marshawn. Looks to get it back to the point. Cut off there by. Jay Boomeister back to the point for Pasternak. Pasternak will wrap it around for Marshawn. Right in the crease for DeBrus. Tipped. Not even close. Back to the point for Krug. Finds Pasternak. Pasternak to the right side. Back to Marshawn. Brad Marshawn now surveys. Waits. Looks. Taking his time. Brad Marshawn back to the point for Krug. Krug. One time attempt for Pasternak, but it's going to be tipped out by Sunkfist, and it's going to be batted all the way down. 10.35 left to go in the second period. 105 left to go in this power play. Exactly, Rocha. How did that go in? So close. Uh, all right, cool. Here comes David Krejci now. Gets into St. Louis territory. Back to the point. Looks for a little snapshot. Brad Marchand shot. And that's going to be wide. And here's Krug. will pick up the loose puck. Back at the point. Gets it back to Krejci. Looks for Marchand now in the middle. Marchand finds Krug. Back to Marchand. Looks across. Kinds Krejci. 40 seconds left. Gets a shot blocked out in front by Steen. Krejcic will leave it for Marshawn. Marshawn comes down low. Gets it down low for Johansson. Back across for Krejcic. Back up top for Krug. Takes the one-time shot blocked out in front by Bozak. And they're going to get the puck all the way down. 20 seconds left to go in this power play. Still 2-1 to one Blues. A little bit of pressure here by the Bruins on this power play. Good movement, but just not enough shots on goal. Krug will leave it in his zone. Gives it off to David Krejci. Krejci will skate into St. Louis territory. Krejci back to the point for Coyle. Coyle up the middle. Looks for more. Slides it across for Coyle. Can't get the loose puck, and that's going to be tumped down. Here comes St. Louis. We'll get it out. That's going to end this power play. Flip back in, and Raska is just going to steer that into the corner. And Sunkfist will come and try to get it, but there is Coyle to pick up the loose puck for the Bruins. We'll hand it off to Johansson at center. Edmondson can't get the puck, and he's going to get by. Johansson will give it off to McAvoy. McAvoy shot. Bennington was out of position. Still made the save. Wow. Sunkfist will get it off to Tarasenko. Tarasenko now. Nice move to get around, but there is Shen. Shen will pick up the loose puck, but he's going to be met there by two Bruins. Corelli now will leave it in the middle. There's Schwartz takes a shot. Nice diving block by McAvoy. Shen will pick up the loose puck, and he's trying to get it to the line for Johansson. He's going to flip it to center. Pyarko will pick it up, and he's just going to pump it back in. David Perron now will give chase in the corner. There's Shen will pick up the loose puck for the Blues. Braden Shen. Bumped off the puck by Clifton. Gets it down low. Perron now and McAvoy behind the net. Schwartz will go for it. Dunn will pinch and keep it in. But it's going to get out to center. And Shen will, or Riley will pick up the loose puck for the Blues with some speed. Nice move by O'Reilly. Gets it to the wing for Perron. Perron now. Nice move. Perron shot. Stopped by Rask. Rebound. And there's Dunn with the shot. Blocked out in front. Petrangelo back to the point for O'Reilly. O'Reilly. And Nordstrom fell down. Did he lose an edge? Back to Dunn. Dunn now down low for Perron. Perron looking to make a move. Back to the point for Payarko. Payoko gets it off to... Oh, nice little slap pass out in front for O'Reilly for Dunn. But that was blocked out in front. Nordstrom really struggling to get this puck out. Sanford keeps it in. O'Reilly gets by Clifton. Look at the pressure here by the Blues. Back to the point it goes. Dunn now looks to make a move. 
Comes in. Here comes Vince Dunn. Shot fanned on it. Gets the puck back. Dunn now gets it back to the point for Pyarco. Gets it down low for Perron. Tipped out in front. Nice save there by Ras Sanford with the loose puck on the corner. Bozak. There's a four-man scrum behind the net. 7.30 left to go in this second period. Pressure here by the Blues. Boston is really, they must be dead tired as this puck's been in there for at least a minute and a half, two minutes. They finally flip it to center and Boston can only change one guy. Boomeister will pick it up and give it off to Bozak or Petrangelo. Petrangelo's right through the crease for Blay, but he can't pick it up. Maroon's going to pick it up and he's going to lose the handle and he's telling the players to get off and there we go. We got a couple more line changes coming for the Bruins. Tipped in and Bozak will give chase. Clifton will meet the play and get it off to the wing. Can't get the puck out though. There is Petrangelo will keep it in. He pinched. And Bozak in the corner looking to get it to Maroon down low. Ooh, big hit there by Maroon with some force. There's Blay now. We'll pick up the puck for the Blues. Blay looks to give it to Maroon. Shot out in front. Nice save there by Rask. The puck stays in Boston territory. Krejci takes Shen off the puck. But they can't get it out. And Clifton's trying to get this puck out. Can't get it out. And Blaze going to keep that puck in. DeBrus trying to give chase. Finally, it gets to the line, but not out. Down it goes again. Carlo now bumped off the puck. Wow. Krejci finally gets the puck out. And he's going to leave it for Clifton. Look at these guys go. Tarasenko now throws a hit. Trying to get this puck out. Can't get it out. Schwartz will keep it in. Jordan Schwartz. Jaden Schwartz will wrap it around for Tarasenko. Tarasenko. Aw. Oh. Clifton, and there's going to be a penalty on Boston. An elbow, I believe, on the Bruins. Wow. Wow. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. Connor Clifton finally gets a penalty call. And we got a fine. Oh, wow. That was like at least three minutes in St. Louis. Was in Boston territory. Wow. What a sequence. Great play by play. Well, that wasn't that great. Crazy mofo. Made some mistakes, but hey, that was fun. That was nuts, man. Badass second period. Good job, Blues. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh, thank you. 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 That was fun. That was a good three minutes of just keep on going. It's practice. It's practice. They may not have the viewers for this, but that's okay, man. I appreciate you guys for strolling on through. I wish we can get more hockey fans, but there's a couple of channels that are a lot bigger that are doing it. But I hope they're bringing the passion just like I am. Hopefully they bring the passion like I am. Well, that was fun. That was a fun sequence. And now the Blues are going to go on the power play here. So after all that pressure by St. Louis, they will get a power play. The Bruins got to be tired after that. They got to be tired after that. Well, the players that were in there for like three minutes, two and a half minutes. Uh, they might have some momentum from that mini rush there you never know but you're probably it, it's a crapshoot man you, it all depends you waste all that energy down in the op opposition zone cycling the puck can't get the puck out illegal check to the head wow all right so that might be a suspension too you never know but uh Sandra says this game was boring. That picked up really quick. <laughs> Woke me up. All right, the Blues win the draw. Bozak, Maroon will get it back to the point for Dunn. Dunn will slide it across for Tarasenko. Tarasenko takes a little snapshot. Stopped by Rask. No rebound. Another faceoff coming deep. Six minutes left to go in the second period, ladies and gentlemen. It's a long time. This, unless they score within this two minutes, then it'll be quick, but we'll see. 
And the Bruins will win that draw, but it goes right to the corner. Bozak, Maroon for the Blues give battle down there. Maroon will give it off to Bozak, trying to get it back to the point. Not enough to get it back to the point. Bergeron will get it out, and here comes Marchand now. Little toe drag, wasted a little bit of time. Flip set across for Bergeron, two and one. Takes a snapshot, stopped by Bennington. Big score, shorthanded goal, Bruins. Wow. Carlo with the goal, it is 2-2. Two -two. Wow, Carlo with the goal. Just like that. Holy cow. They tied on a two-on-one. Look at that. Oh, Brad Marchand. Where was St. Louis defense on that? A little flip pass to Bergeron. Bergeron with the shot. Stop Carlo with the rebound. Bennington gave up a huge rebound. And Carlo made no mistake. No mistake. Yeah. That's a backbreaker, man. That's a huge backbreaker, man. All right. Krug now is just going to dump it all the way down to center. Brandon Carlo, first goal of the playoffs. That's a high stick or a glove pass. Want to hear a joke? What's the difference between the Bruins on a PK and the Bruins in regulation D? Nothing. They both suck at getting the puck out. Hey, well, they just scored a power or a penalty kill goal. So I think you missed that, Water King. Because that was a nice outlet pass to Bergeron and Bergeron, or to Marchand, ragged the puck for a little bit, flip pass to Bergeron, good shot on goal, Bennington, big rebound, and there's Carlo right on the right side, and he pumped that home right off Bennington's glove and in. No, 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 Water King, you just made a bad joke, and then now you're saying, see, now you... <laughs> you just flip-flop in a matter of seconds. Love it. Love it. After our nice outlet pass by the Bruins defenseman, to the Brad Marchand. <laughs> so you just got busted, man. You just got busted. Pareko will just dump it in. McAvoy can't get the puck into the corner. They fight for it in the corner. Blues are putting a little bit more pressure on now. Gets it back to the point. There's Petrangelo back to the top for Pareko. Gives it off to Petrangelo. Petrangelo takes a wrist shot. Stopped by Rask. Rebound. Nope. And he's going to cover it up as Shen was right there on the doorstep. And McAvoy do a little bit of jousting. You weren't kidding, man. That, no, no. I'm sorry. I, I can't get on board with that. I can't. After that joke attempt, right after the outlet pass, you made this post right after that pass was made. And Carlo was right there on the doorstep, a defenseman scoring that goal. <laughs> You, well, if they score a penalty kill goal, the p power play should be nullified after that. That's an interesting theory. Could you imagine if that was the case? If he scored on a shorthanded goal, the power play is done. Your penalty is over. That would be interesting. That would be very interesting, John Abrams. All right. Bruins win the draw, but Maroon will keep the puck in. Back to the point for Petrangelo. Finds Dunn. Dunn now will get it down into the corner for Tarasenko. Wraps it all the way around. And he's just going to leave it Maroon. Back to the point for Tarasenko. Tarasenko with 30 seconds left to go on this power play. Dunn now will slide it across for Petrangelo. A little snapshot gloved by Rask. No rebound. Maroon was right in front. What's up, Scotland Giants, Celtics, and Mets? It would be crazy. That would be an interesting theory, though. Like, if you scored a penalty kill, power play's over. That's your reward for scoring a goal while you're a man down. Exactly. That would mean more offensive chances. All right. Tarasenko will get it back to Petrangelo. Finds Tarasenko on the right side, down in the corner. Tarasenko, 425 left to go in this second period. 19 on the penalty. Takes a little snapshot, blocked in front. Schwartz trying to slide this puck across camp, but there's Dunn. Picks up the loose puck. Back to Petrangelo, back to Dunn. Dunn now looks, hands it off to Tarasenko, back to Petrangelo. Petrangelo finds Tarasenko. Tarasenko, toe drag, toe drag, waits, comes, takes a wrist shot in front. No big rebound, but Schwartz can't pump him home. And they're going to kill the rest of the penalty as Dunn will pick it up and Clifton will come out of the box. Four minutes left to go in the second period. Nice pass, but that's going to be too strong. And that might be icing. Ooh, just icing. I thought Tarasenko just got there ahead of the play, but they call icing on the Blues. Fun fact, right? Brandon Carlo was actually from Missouri. Well, there you go. That is a fun fact. Thank you for sharing that fun fact. He must have been a Blues fan kid growing up.
6.7. Yeah, we got that yesterday, crazy mofo. After that little stream. After that little stream last night. Pretty good. Those little half an hour streams do pretty good on the views. Six, like We had like five, 6K on that last night. Pretty cool. I can only imagine it for a whole game. Hopefully it's going to be good. Hopefully we get new people in there. Coyle will just get it out in front. Can't get it. Tarasenko will pick it up for the Blues. He's going to bust in on the right hand side. He's just going to chip it in. He's going for a line change. Schwartz now behind the net. Does battle. McAvoy will pick it up for the Bruins. Back out in front. And there's Johansson. Can't get the puck. Pyarko now will give it down low for Sunkfist. Sunkfist looks to make a move. Gets it down low for Pyarko. Down for Schwartz. Looks across. Couldn't find Steen. But there's Boomeister now. Comes in. Just wraps it around on the other side. Picked up there by Schwartz. Schwartz back to the point for Pyarko. And they were going to make a line change. And that was a little bit of a bonehead play there by the Blues. With puck possession. Chipped in by Heinen. Bennington now will just wrap it around for Pyarko, who will get it to the line for Steen, who's just going to chip it in, and Sunkfist is going to give chase. Clifton now behind the net with Sunkfist, just going to wrap it around. Heinen will pick it up for the Bruins. Hands it off to Moore. Moore will pick it up, just takes a little snaps up, steered aside by Bennington. There is Gunnarsson, will pick it up for the Blues, and he's going to go for a skate. He gets it off to the line, and just out. Carlo Clifton will give it in to Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand now takes a little high snapshot, high and wide. And that's going to get out. Barbashev trying to get the puck in deep. Gets it into the line, but cleared right back out. And here comes the Blues with the puck. Chipped in by the Blues. And that's going to go behind the net. And Carlo will pick it up. Got 2.28 left to go here in the second period. Pasternak will pick it up for the Bruins. Pasternak doing too much, but O'Reilly with the moves. And here comes Sanford bumped off the puck by Carlo. And Pasternak's just going to flip it into the corner. Petrangelo is going to give chase. Brad Marchand there as well. Bumps him off the puck, trying to get it off to Perron. Gets it off the wall to O'Reilly, but that's going to be dumped back in. Bennington's just going to play, but he can't really fully get it there. And there is Petrangelo off to the wing for Sanford. Gives it off to O'Reilly. Back down low for Dunn. Dunn now will just flip it in deep. And O'Reilly and Sanford are going to give chase. McAvoy will get there first. Gets it to the wall. And there's Krejci. Will pick it up. And he gives it off to DeBrusque. DeBrusque will take a shot. Blocked by Pyarico. And here comes Braun trying to flip it out. And that's going to be too strong. That's going to be icing against the Blues. 144 left to go in this second. Uh, Rocha, that's interesting. I remember back in the day, man, that used to be free will for all the goalies. But I don't know. It limits them from coming out too much. I don't know. I don't mind that rule. Fun fact, John Abrams. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Number 17, Rod Brindavore. And he played for the Blues. He was drafted by them. Then he went to Philadelphia. All right, Tory Krug will pick up the loose puck, and he is coming up with some speed. Tory Krug will come in, chip it in deep, and DeBrusque is going to give chase, but Pyarko is going to get there first. Pyarko will hand it off to Boomeister. Boomeister will get it off to the wall and into St. Louis. Back to Tarasenko. Back to Schwartz now. Looks for Tarasenko behind that. Looks out in front. There's a shot by Schwartz. That's high and wide. No good. Back to the point it goes. Tarasenko gets off to Petrangelo. Petrangelo takes a shot blocked out in front. And it's going to get out to center. Petrangelo will pick it up. We got like 105 left to go here in the second. Gunnarsson will pick it up for St. Louis. Left hand pass right up to Schwartz. Schwartz will carry it in. Trying to chip it in deep. That's wide and low. Nordstrom will pick it up for the Bruins. And he can't get the puck out, but he's going to get a second chance. And he will. And here comes Achari now. Nice drop pass for Heinen or Nordstrom. Nordstrom in the corner with Schwartz. 45 seconds left to go. Nordstrom now looking to shield it. Just wraps it around. Achari can't get the puck. And it's going to go to the sidewalls. Met there by Carlo, but he can't keep the puck in. And it's going to go back into Boston territory. Carlo will hand it off to Krug up the middle. Trying to chip that in was Johansson. But Bennington will stop and play it. And Bennington will leave it for Gunnarsson. Pressure there by Johansson. Keeps the puck in. And that's going to go right in front. And Bennington is just going to hang on with 22.2 seconds left to go in the second. Uh, Max, no injury. So, yeah, it still knows Zidane Chara. Yeah, crazy move. Mm-hmm. Again, that's for safety. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, Sometimes, I don't know, man. I think the goalies should have free will. Like, sometimes the p goalies should get hit. They have big enough equipment. Like, if they're playing the puck in the corner, if they just get bumped off the puck, not like a full-fledged body check on the goalie, but if they just bump them off, I think that should be legal. It could, crazy mofo. St. Louis will win the draw, and Pyarko will get the puck, trying to get this puck out. Is But there's Brad Marchand now in the corner. 
Boomeister puts good coverage on him, gets it off to the point. There's Krug, takes a slap shot, tipped and stopped by Bennington. And Bozak will flip it off to center, and that's going to be the end of the second period, but they're going to try to get the puck in deep, but there is a... Never mind, O'Reilly won't have enough time. And that's the end of the second period. 2-2 two -two after 40 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that draft was crazy, man. I remember that like yesterday, the Connor McDavid draft. Like, I was so pumped. Because the Oilers had two picks in that draft. They had the 13th pick. And, yeah, that's where Barzell went. But we traded uh, that pick for Griffin Reinhardt, who really didn't play a lot for uh, the Edmonton Oilers and their organization. But we traded that pick to the Islanders, and they drafted Barzell. But then Boston had three draft picks in a row. And, yeah, DeBrusque was there. And I forget the other two dudes' names. But I know Jake DeBrusque was one of them. So, interesting, man. That draft was crazy. I think the trapezoid should stay too, but I think goalies should be able to be bumped off the puck if they try to play it behind the net. I think if a player is charging uh, around the net and the goalie plays it behind the net or tries to make a play or just whatever, I think the goalie should be able to be bumped off the puck. That was a definitely good second period. Yeah, definitely. That was amazing hockey, yes. First all blues, second all blues trash PB still. Well, can't argue with that, man. Can't argue with that. Oh, let's take a look. See what's going on in the world of sports. Is there anything going on in the world of sports for baseball? Let's take a look at some out-of-town scores here. Or any stories that might have developed. Yeah, Marcus Stroman after his last game against Colorado. This is not a fun atmosphere. He's not happy losing. Uh, yeah, all right. Justin Schaefer to triple A. Yeah, no, nothing really. Okay. That shorthand goal. Yep. Ah, uh, go take a shower. Okay. MLB scores. They don't play today. There's not very many games. Let's take a look, though. There wasn't very many games on today. So the Dodgers and Arizona 0-0 in the bottom of the second. Houston and Seattle are starting in about five minutes. And then Philadelphia, San Diego as well. And the only game that played today was the Cubs beating the Angels 8-1. Play the Yankees' next predictions. Uh, I think maybe we'll take one of three. <laughs> They got swept by, well, their road trip wasn't very good. They Who did they play on their road trip again? Uh, they got swept by the Rockies, and then who did they play? Oh, and they got swept by Tampa. So they lost all six games on the road. Zubriel and Zenishin. Oh, yeah. As those are the guys that they drafted. Go Blues. I got 4-2. Okay, well, it's... 2-2. Two, two. So we'll see what happens. I'm not sure, man, but uh, St. Louis had some good pressure there, especially right before that power play, but then they gave up a shorty, which is a backbreaker. Yeah, they smashed us. I know. I know they did. But I kind of called that Trevor Story home run in that game I covered last week. It's on my Instagram. I clipped that video because I said, Trevor Story, tell me a story. Will you go yard and the very next pitch, boom. He hit one to left center and it went for a home run. That's on my Instagram. Kind of a, a remarkable call. And he told me his story. He wanted to hit a two run home run. <clears throat> no, it's, it's true, go get it. It's true. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I actually called that Trevor Story home run before he hit it. Yeah. I said, tell me a story. You're going to hit a home run. Are you going to go yard? And he did. Very next pitch. Gone. Cubs won. Yes, they did. 8-1. So there's only going to be the first round in the... Yeah. Jordan Groshans, a high school short sub. Oh, at 11th. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, hopefully. Uh, 
All right, cool. Cool. Uh, now the fun facts, I guess so. Uh, yes, yeah. Need a sir story des desperately or a freestyle on beat session. Nah, I'm good. I bought a mayo burger from McDonald's while back, but it fell asleep. It's been there five hours. Can I still eat that? <laughs> sure, why not? But a mayo burger, that sounds nasty as all could be. A mayo burger? Come on, Roach, what's wrong with you? Why do you got a headache, man? Let's go take a hot shower. Get that kink out. And just stretch your neck. Push your head down. Uh, put your hand on the top of your head and push down on both sides. Go one side. You'll feel the pressure on the back of your neck. Do it on the other side. Push down. And you'll feel pressure in your back neck and just, it'll kind of loosen your head. Like right in the back. And you'll feel the sharp pain where it hurts. Just stretch. Stretch your head. Chicken mayo burger. Got it. But uh, yeah, that's what I do when I get headaches sometimes too. I just put, I just sit there in a nice position on a chair, and then I just put my head down and I push down, push down on both sides of my neck, and it stretches. Talk to Cardinal. Yeah, what's up, Connor Burke? I think you can. I don't think it's a problem, unless it was really hot. Sleep heals all. Yeah, sleep does, but sometimes when you have a headache, it's so hard to fall asleep. Or just do a handstand. Just do a handstand on your wall. Let the blood flow to your head. Yeah, Water King is a feisty one. Yeah, they were, John. Yes, they were. Yes. So that tells me that's going to be like the top four picks, those guys. Man, I really wanted Turcotte with the Oilers because they had him projected earlier in the season. I was like, yeah, that would be a good guy to have maybe, but then we'd have so much center depth. Dry Settles a center originally. McDavid, Nugent Hopkins and him. And, he's a, and we got McLeod. So. Yeah, I did, Rocha. If you want to be that way, yeah. Get your fat ass up and do a handstand and make the blood flow to your head so the headache will dissipate. Yeah, I think you can warm it up, man. If it doesn't taste good after the first bite, then toss it, man. Hopkins is a bust. No, he's not. You kidding me? He had his best season ever this year. You kidding me? He had like almost 30 goals, if not 30 this year. He had a great season this year. Yep, you'll never walk alone. I love that song, man. That might be the next Sir Cardinal Idol is that song. That might be the new next idol song. Blue Moon? No. Blue Moon. Blue Moon. Bop a bop a bop a bop 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 dee 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 Blue Moon. Bop a bop a bop a bop bop. Alley Alley song is class. What is that? Is that. You don't like the You'll Never Walk Alone, Stephen Pope? But yeah, did you watch that Champions League final? Like in the first half, man? That was crazy. But Liverpool, they had a huge. Uh, turnout man on youtube for their parade man you couldn't even speak in the damn chat they had over eight like they had a, so many people in their chat during that i was watching like the first second i went to say congratulations liverpool fans and i posted it and then next thing you know gone it was like whoa so i was like okay and then next comments 10 seconds later like it's just you don't read anyone's comments it's impossible it is impossible were you at a soccer game and heard that song? Yes, Iverson Vlogs. I was at Liverpool versus Manchester United friendly here in Toronto four or five years ago. I did the second half, Stephen Pope. I did the second half. I agree, Sheffley is better than Hopkins. Yeah, I like the walk along song. Have you heard? No, I haven't heard Ali Ali. I can imagine. Oh, that's awesome, Go Getter. Yeah, that was that was fun, man. I love that song. 
He is relevant. Kane's not trash. He's great. Yeah, that I, I don't even watch soccer all the time. I'll watch it if I have to. I get into it for the World Cup and uh, the Euro Cup and and the Champions League final only. But uh, yeah, I heard that song when I was working a game and I was like, wow, that's electric. Absolutely electric. And there's other teams that do too. I guess uh, Dortmund does it and Celtic. They do that song too. All right. Send it up. Post it up in Instagram. I'll listen to it after. Done. I Mermaid Girlfriend is watching. Ah. Oh. Well, hello, Mermaid's Girlfriend. Dunn's Girlfriend. Hello. How's the boat? Yeah, and he just had a 100-point season. <laughs> right? True, so. Come on, you know better. Yeah. McDavid is overrated. That's where I've stopped talking to you. How is he overrated? The guy's had three straight 100-point seasons. Three straight 100-point seasons. MVP uh, in his first year, full year. Runner-up second year. He could win it again this year, but I don't think he will. No, I totally agree, Iverson. I haven't seen the other teams uh, fans sing it. I've only seen the Liverpool fans doing it. They just had another uh, video that they dropped because they were showing, uh, like I was looking for that song and I found it. All right, thanks, Stephen Pope. I will take a look at that probably after the stream, but, but for sure. But uh, I was looking for that song and I found it and then they had a new reaction. Like they had a, with a trophy, they're all lining up and they sang the song. So that was pretty good views. But the one before, there was one Champions League final last year, I do believe. And that was pretty damn awesome. Hungman, son, yep. Yep. True. Neil Yakupov is the GOAT. McDavid was salty. That nail was better than him. That is totally false information, John. Totally false. And where is Yakupov now? Yep. I can't play. I don't want to get no copyright claim, Stephen. I don't want it on a live stream. But I will listen to it, and I'll get back to you. Yeah, he's in the KHL. He's in the KHL. But yeah, there's rumors that he might come back to the NHL, too. And apparently Buffalo might be interested. I really wanted Liverpool to... Yeah, Iverson Vogs, I did too because they would have been the first team in English soccer history to win both the Champions League and the Premiership. What's wrong with the KHL? It's not the NHL. Secondary hockey. All the overrated Russians. All the Russians that decide to say... I can't make an NHL team or I don't get enough playing time. I'm going to be a baby and I'm going to go back to the motherland. That's what all the Russian players do. They can't hack it here. So they all go back to their league, but they do make good money. So I give them credit for that. They're making money at least, but they just can't hack it in the NHL. So they go back. Better draft a pitcher. Yeah, Man City, man. That's twice the, that they've won that championship on the last day. Or it could have been Manchester United the first time around a couple years ago. <laughs> Eichel, that would be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. Playoffs. Oh. Thought they would have made it this year. They had a good start. Yep, I saw it last night. It was posted on my score app, and I saw the whole two-minute clip. Yep. No, I'm not into comics. I'm true. Look at these little, little girls dancing up and down, watching the Stanley Cup Finals. They're on TV. They're all pumped. I never got into comics. I never, just never did.
not even into that much of superheroes as well. Never got into it. So what's today is Monday. I work Tuesday, off Wednesday. Is there anything going on? I might have to do a baseball stream on Wednesday. No, that's basketball. Never mind. Thursday, I'm working. I don't know. Maybe I should set up my stream for basketball because I don't think I'm going to be going live till Wednesday now. No, I'd be respectful, Water King. I'm not like that. I would never go up to a player and just taunt them. I would be like, if I was allowed to talk to them and if he saw me and if he looked at me, I'll be like, hey, great series, man. Your time's coming. Your time's coming. This may hurt now, but you're going to be resilient and you're going to come back hungrier next year and you'll get there. Just keep having the faith. I would be respectful, man. Seriously, I would. I wouldn't be that asshole fan. I have respect for anyone. I always will. I can imagine go get a four three or five three. Okay. I could see it being like three two four two. Definitely could see three two four two. Uh, Lion King real one now? Wow. Didn't see the previews. I guess that's coming out, what, July 18th? Wow. Okay. Yeah, true. I know, man. I'm true. Ah, okay. Interesting, Water King. I'm glad you know who I am, but that's cool. Michael Bush, UNC. Didn't get a picture, huh? That rotation's getting old. Start stockpiling the prospects. Let's go, crazy mofo. You know what? It's a possibility, my man. Iverson vlogs, that's a strong possibility. But look what, what the Raptors did. They won in Milwaukee. I know it's going to be a little bit more different atmosphere, but if they can come out and play a good road game and just keep it close, you never know. You never know, but yeah, that's a probability. That's a high probability. Yeah, apparently he had a quad injury. But they say that's better. But now he has like tendonitis or arthritis in the one knee. Quite possible. The Raptors, uh, I think they're going to put up a good fight. If they get blown out, they get blown out. It's, it's, it, the atmosphere is going to be... I think they're going to get on these guys. And it's going to be interesting to see how they adapt to that type of crowd. They had to deal with it in Milwaukee, in Philadelphia too. So... They're, they're road-tested, but we'll see what they do on the road for an NBA Finals. That's going to be the test. They did it in Philly and Milwaukee. Even Orlando was pretty pumped up, too, even though we won both games there. I think we're getting ready to start the third here soon. He'll probably get it. He'll probably get it because he's been playing all the games. I don't think Durant's going to win now since he's missed so many games. But yeah, he probably will get it for, or unless they get, and there's the shield. Zidane Chara has a full shield on. He's on the bench. I'm not, I'll be sad if they were a runner up, but hey, it's great, great that we made the finals this year. I'm so happy that they actually made the finals. I think the Red Wings might trade up. Really? You think they can? That'll be interesting. All right, Bergeron wins the draw in the third period. It is underwear. Let's go. He is back. Told you. Took a bit, a little bit longer. The Raptor games are like soccer games. Okay. Marshawn will pick it up, and he gives it off to Bergeron in the corner. Gives it off to Pasternak. Takes a shot on goal. Bennington steers it to the corner. Pasternak now behind the net for Bergeron. Bergeron trying to get the puck out in front. Shielded nicely. Boo Meister will pick it up, and there is Steen. We'll just chip it off the glass and to center. Krug will pick up the loose puck. Bergeron will try to tip it in deep. Gets it off to the sidewall, back into St. Louis territory. Pyarco will pick it up. Two line changes for both teams here in the opening minute. 
Boomeister will just give it off to Sanford, who's going to tip it in. O'Reilly will pick up the puck for the Blues in the corner. Moore trying to give it off to the corner. Akari there with Sanford. Sanford will pick up the loose puck for the Blues, but he's going to lose it. Moore will pick it up for Boston. And he's going to flip it up to center, and he's going to get it into the bench, and there's going to be a faceoff in Boston territory, I believe. I know. Didn't take a damn pitcher first round. Took a third base, and now a third base. Okay. Well, there's 40 rounds, crazy mofo. I'm sure they'll get, well, top-end talent usually should go in the first round for pitchers. Two, like, good ones. Uh, I understand what you like, Cousins. I did. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. I really like Cousins. I kind of hope he falls, but I don't think he will. McAvoy will pick up the puck for the Bruins in their own territory. He's going to lug it out to center. He's just going to chip it in deep. And Bennington will just wrap it around, trying to play the puck himself. Edmondson in the corner with Curley. Trying to get this puck out is St. Louis. They're fighting for it in the corner. Boston will come out with it, but there's Schwartz now. will pick up the loose puck. He's just going to knife it to Petrangelo. Too strong. And there is Nordstrom. Just wraps it around. Curley. Curley guarding it well. Gets it around for Akari. Back to Curley. Takes a shot. Ooh, just wide. Gets it to the line. Carlo will keep it in. Just going to wrap it around the net again. Edmondson trying to knife it to the blue line. Can't get it out. There is Shen. He can't get the puck out either. That's not offside. Johansson gets the puck. Back to Johansson. Johansson now looks to make a play. Gets it off in the middle, but picked off. And here comes Schwartz now for the Blues. He's going to come out to center. Schwartz trying to get it. And that's going to be a dive. And that's going to be a penalty on Tori Krug. Tripping or Heinen. So the Blues are going to the power play again. So yes, the Blues are going to the power play. Stephen Pope comments on my football stream. There was a streaker in the first half. Yes, some Russian lady. Yes, we saw. Crazy Mofo showed me that clip. Yes, and it showed her underneath the tunnel too being arrested. All right, here we go. Blues lose the draw. Marchand's just going to get it off to center. And O'Reilly will pick up the loose puck and we'll give it off to Maroon, but he's going to lose it. Carlo will pick it up and they're going to rope a dope. And they finally just flip it back into St. Louis territory. Marchand's also there, but that's going to be... Ooh, is that a penalty? Oh, the, he touched the goalie, Brad Marchand. Here's the Blues opportunity, for sure. Yeah, I got to trim some of this mustache. It's starting to go in my nose again. It's starting to get itchy. Ooh, a little tap. Oh, Bennington, come on, man. Little tap by Brad Marchand, and you're going to go flying? Really? Come on, Bennington. That was weak sauce. Get out of here. But Brad Marchand, being a little rat that he is. <laughs> Yeah, and there's the wrist shot stopped by Rask, and that's going to be cleared down the ice. Big rebound there. Breaking. Jets trade, traded Kevin Hayes to the Flyers for a fifth rounder. Okay. That's a interesting. Wow, Kevin Hayes already gone. And here comes, was that Dunn? Can't see. Anyway, Bruin trying to get the puck in deep. They still have it there. There's Dunn now at the point. Dunn will come in with it. Back to the point. Gives it off to O'Reilly. Back to Tarasenko. Tarasenko back to Dunn. Gives it off to O'Reilly. Gets it in the middle for Bozak. Back to O'Reilly. Dunn with the one-time shot. Shot just wide. Tarasenko will pick up the loose puck. Trying to get it around for Maroon. Maroon's going to leave it there for Bozak. But Corelli will just get it to the line. Dunn will save it. Keep it in. Slides it across for Tarasenko. Tarasenko shielding the puck well. Down in the corner. Back to O'Reilly. Back to Tarasenko. 50 seconds left to go in the power play. Tarasenko now down low for Maroon right in front. There's O'Reilly. Can't get the loose puck. And Nordstrom's going to pick it up. And Nordstrom's going to go for a little bit of a skate. And he's going to flip it down into Bennington. Steers it aside. And the Bruins are going to get the puck back. And they're going to do some more. Nordstrom will pick it back down into Boston territory. Clifton now will get it to the line for Brad Marchand. Marchand now will come in on the left-hand side. Goes behind the net. Wasting a lot of time. Petrangelo trying to get the puck out. And he will get the puck. And he's going to hold on to it. And he's going to hand it off to nobody. Pass up the middle for Schwartz. Schwartz now will come dangling in. Schwartz looks to get it back to the point. Does for David Perron. Perron now bumped off the puck, but he's going to get it to 
The point for Pyarco. Pyarco now got to hurry. Five on the shot clock. One time attempt. Big shot. Good stop by Rask. Right in the crease. And Rask is going to hang on to it. No rebound. And we got one second left to go on this power play. What a save, Rask. Yeah, not a, hey, he just was right there at the right time. Right there, he just covered that up. That's good. St. Louis really has got to take more shots on goal, I think. They, they, they pass the puck way too much during their power play. They need to get some more shots on goal. Low shots. But Kevin Hayes, wasn't he just traded? Oh, wait, I think he was traded there during... Uh, I think he's going to be a free agent. That's why they made the trade. I think they traded him to Winnipeg. Unrestricted free agent. Oh, my kid's back. I hear them. I hear them. I hope they got me a tea. Uh, they drafted a pitcher from West Virginia, buddy. I called it. He's good. He's the best right hand. Hey, hey, don't touch that. Don't touch that. Leave it there just the way it is. Pyarco now takes the slap shot. Blocked it by Nordstrom. He is uh, a senior for West Virginia. He is the best right-handed pitching prospect in the draft. They have another good prospect. Yep. Hopefully they sign him. How was practice? Boring. Okay, cool. All right, that's... All right, go take a bath and... Ah, uh, that's tough. That's tough being a 12-year-old, my boy. Oh, hit behind the net. Uh, we'll see what happens, buddy. We'll see what happens. Maybe not. All right, here is Okari. He's belted off the puck, but he gets it in deep. And Pyarco now will pick it up for the Blues. Pyarco pumps it into the left side, and Jay, uh, Barbershev will pick it up. Sunfest will get it to the corner. Gets it up here for Alex Steen right through the crease. Barbershev can't get a stick on it. Petrangelo is going to wrap it around. Steen will get it back to the point for Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson will just ch try to chip it in deep. Can't, and there is Heinen trying to get this puck out. They get the puck out. Nordstrom gives Chase Jake to Brusk. Sorry. Holy. Kid just tooted, man. It smells like fart in here. <laughs> All right, Jake DeBrus now will get the puck, gets it off to the middle, and Bacchus will try to get the puck into the corner and gets it to the corner. There's a big scrum on the wall. Patrick Maroon trying to chip this puck out, trying to get it out. Can't get it out. Clifton with a nice play, keeps it in. Clifton now will come in, takes a slap shot, steered aside. Bennington out of position. Bruins in the crease. Can't get the shot on goal. Almost a goal there for Boston if there was a man in front, but nobody there. Bergeron. Smoke. Yes, you can. Sorry, yeah, it's all good. Tea. Uh, you didn't forget my tea. You just didn't go. Yeah. There we go. Pyarco now with the puck. When it's fucking late and it's, it's all good. Bust. It's so all good. Pyarco now with the puck, and I knew that was coming. That's what I knew was coming. Here comes Sanford now. Just chips it in deep. Gives it off to Carlo. Carlo will give chase. Carlo will give it off to Brad Marchand. Can't get the puck out. Carlo will get it to the line. Brad Marchand now at the line just gets it out. O'Reilly will pick up the loose puck, flip it back in. Tory Krug gives chase. Riley with some speed goes after Krug. Krug gets it by him. Krug backhand pass up to center, gives it off to Marchand. Marchand now right down the middle, and here comes a chance. Steer aside by Bennington. Coyle with a chance. David Perron now will pick up the puck. Pace picking up, and we got a whistle. St. Louis penalty. Oh boy. Oh boy. Interference, yes. So, of course, I did not get my tea. Oh, well. That would have been nice to have. But now the Bruins. Now, see, this is what they were saying. Craig Berube was saying after game three, we took too many penalties against these guys. And they caught, they they paid for it. They went four for four of the Bruins. You can't take penalties against these guys. These guys are a great power play team so far this Stanley Cup final. Jay Boomeister for Consumice. Jay, too good. Oh, actually, he's getting the penalty. All right, so we got a commercial coming here first. Then the Bruins will go on the power play. How do you take a mini nap and that headache's gone? Rocho, wow. You just like zonk, like, you just go to sleep on command? You listen to ASM ASMR and you went to sleep. That's good though. I'm glad you, you uh, feel better. But how do you fall asleep so quickly, man? I guess you young heads can just pass out at, at, a, at any moment. No, crazy mofo. I asked her when she left. I was like, hey, can you get me a tea on the way back? Because she was whining for a coffee while she was there. Because she was there since 6 o'clock. 
he had to umpire first and then he went to practice and i said get me a tea on the way back and she's like oh, we'll see and uh yeah it didn't happen because she said she had to take the bus back with all that equipment that he was carrying so no one offered her a ride back which is fine whatever i might just go uh it's 10 30 this might be over i don't know if it goes overtime there's no chance but it's all good no big deal we still that asmr play by play we should do it one day maybe we will i'm gonna be okay man it's just the thing i'm working on less than five hours of sleep so i'm pretty tired there you go okay that's true too that's true once you don't sleep for a long time. So are you going to bed early tonight, Rocha? Or are you going to be staying up all night now? All right, Chara has not played in this third period. He's still on the bench, though, but he's not playing. Okay, there might be something wrong. Yeah. All right, power play underwear. And the Blues are just going to rope it down into Boston territory. High sticking for Jay Boomeister. They're 0 for 1 on the power play tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Krug will give it off to Pasternak. Nice move by Pasternak. Pasternak comes busting in. Takes a shot. Stopped by Bennington. Rebound right to Johansson. Johansson now on the half wall. Gets it down low for Marshawn. Brad Marshawn now looks to make a play back to the point. Gives it to Krug. Krug comes in. Takes a slap pass. High and wide. Marshawn will pick up the loose puck. Bumped off the puck by Steen. And the Blues are trying to get this puck out quickly, and they get it to the line, and he can't keep it in his Krug. And he's just going to slide it across for Pasternak. David Pasternak with the moves, comes in. Nice move by Pasternak again. Pasternak trying to get it to the left side. Nobody there. Petrangelo will pick up the loose puck. He's going to get it back to the defender behind the net, and he's going to rifle it down. 105 left to go on this power play. Krug will pick it up for Boston. 1220 left to go here in the third period. Krug now goes for a skate, gets it back. Gives it off to Johansson. Johansson with some speed. Comes, gets it back to the point for Marshawn. Marshawn, bumped off the puck. Gets it down low for Johansson. Johansson, behind the net. Gretzky's office. Can't get it to anybody. Petrangelo is just going to clear it all the way down. 40 seconds left to go here. Yeah, baseball would be the easiest. If the boys are on. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I might play tonight too, but I don't know. I got to work tomorrow. I got to work tomorrow. Blue Jays, 5 o'clock. All right, back to the point. Krejcic in the corner, gets it back to the point, and that's going to be cleared by himself. Marshawn couldn't keep the puck in. Rask will come out and play. 20 seconds left to go on this power play. McAvoy will hand it off to Krejcic. David Krejcic at center. Gets it across for DeBrusque. DeBrusque can't get the puck in deep. And Moore will hand it back to McAvoy. Five on the penalty. And the Blues are going to kill this penalty. And here comes... Moore on the wing to Krejci down low for Moore. Moore looks to make a play. Pyarko with a good defensive play. Moore back to the other side of the point for Krejci. Krejci, nice move, but he's hit and he's going to get the puck out to center. McAvoy is going to pick up the loose puck for. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Heard a big water drop. All right, here we go. Blue fans are trying to get their team going, and here comes Tarasenko. Yes, Tarasenko now. Ooh, hit off the puck by Clifton. But there's Braden Shen and Clifton doing battle behind the net. Knifes it to the other side. Rooks in front for Tarasenko. Nobody couldn't get a stick on it. Gunnarsson now slides it across for Dunn. Back to Gunnarsson. Takes a shot. Steer aside. Tarasenko with the shot. Steer aside again by Rask into the corner. Ooh, big hit there by Schwartz. And the puck can't get out. Shen bumped off the puck right down low for Schwartz. Wraps it around for Tarasenko, but he's not going to get there. It's going to get to the line, but it's going to be kept in by the Blues defender. Schwartz just going to leave it in the corner. And there's Pyarko. He pinches, gets it off to Schwartz. Schwartz now hit off the puck by McAvoy. Looks in front. There's Shen back to the point for Dunn. Dunn takes a little wrist shot. Glove down by Rask and held on. We have 10.08 left to go in this third period. I can't show the game, area music. It is copyrights. But thank you for asking so politely. I just can't do it. Can't show the game on my channel, my friend. All I do is live reaction to the game, try my own play by play. You have a scoreboard here for your viewing pleasure to know what's going on in the game. Bruins D problems again. Yeah, Chara has not played a minute in this third period thus far, 10 minutes in, but he's on the bench. Yeah, he made that glove save look so easy. 
But the top line is putting pressure on the Bruins. Every time they get in deep, they they go to work. All right, Sunfist wins the draw. Pierco can't keep the puck in. Pareko. Whatever. Same thing, man. Pierco, Pareko. Krug will just chip it in down. Boomeister will pick it up, and he's going to chip it to center. And there is Pasternak will pick up the loose puck. Gets it off to Marchand on the right wing. Trying to get it back to Pasternak, but can't. Carlo will take the one-timer shot from the blue line. It is steered aside. Back to Krug. Krug's going to chip it in, but he's going to be gloved down by Pierco. And here he goes for a skate into St. Louis. And he looked like he got high-sticked. But there's no call. Carlo will pick up the puck. Gives it off to Bergeron. He's just going to chip it out to center. And he's going to find Petrangelo. Petrangelo now comes in, takes a little slap shot, steers the slot, big rebound, scores! Ryan O'Reilly, and the Blues lead 3-2. to two. Wow. Big rebound. Big rebound there by Tuka Rask. Petrangelo with the point shot, steered aside by Rath, but Ryan O'Reilly right there on the doorstep, puts it home, and the Blues have a 3-2 lead. Look at that. Yep, big rebound right on the tape for O'Reilly. Heinen did not get back in defensive coverage quick enough to stop Ryan O'Reilly's one-timer off the save. There we go. All right. Assisted by Petrangelo and Gunnarsson. O'Reilly now with the puck behind his own net. He just gives it off to Gunnarsson, gets it to the line, swings it across, and there's Petrangelo. He's just going right, to wrap it all the way into Boston territory. Johansson will pick up the puck, gets it to the line, and out to center. Blade will pick up the loose puck, gives it off to Pyarco. Pyarco gives it off to Petrangelo, flips the puck in deep. Blade will give chase, and that's going to go wide of the net, but Clifton's going to be there, but there's going to be an icing against the Blues. You said it other day, Mr. Cardinal. What's that? What did I say the other day? Refresh my memory. All the match needed was a Liverpool game, was a streaker in the... Oh, yeah, see? And she was a fit. That is cr true. That is facts. Oh, Al McInnes. He works for the Blues? Okay. Bruins win the draw. Krug's going to pick it up, but he's going to lose it. And here comes a two-on-one for the Blues. Patrick Maroon and Blay. Maroon shot stopped by Rask. And he taps Rask after the shot. Ooh. Patrick Maroon almost made that 4-2. He could have made a one-time pass, but that was a great chance for the Blues right after the goal. A two-on-one. And Maroon had the better shot, but he was going under the armpit of the blocker side. But no dice. Dodgers 3 nothing over the Diamondbacks. That's terrible, man. Why did I start Ray today? Why did I start Ray today? Done. Yep, let's go Blues. What's up, Stephen Wells Jr.? Win game three for me, Bruins. It will help console me for the Raptors losing game two. Well, you're about to be sad again, maybe, Sandra. Yeah, there was a two-on-one. It was a two-on-one. Patrick Maroon could have slid the puck across to Sammy Blade, but he decided to take the shot, and he only made the save. Bottom of the first, holy Houston up three nothing on Seattle. Damn, boy. He should have squared the puck then. Yeah, I think he should have passed it. Oh uh, yeah, report Kevin Looney out indefinitely with a fractured collarbone. Ouch. Police probing live TV vulgarity against Aisha Curry after game two. Ryerson's college basketball coach here in Toronto, Roy Rana, accepts jobs with the Sacramento Kings. Wow. Ryerson has been a really good program here in Canada for college basketball in the last couple of years. They made the finals two years in a row. And their head coach is going to be an assistant with the Sacramento Kings. Raptors Kawhi Leonard sues Nike over rights to his claw logo. Okay. Clay Thompson likely questionable for game three of the NBA finals. All right. Okay. Oh, they're showing the 32 second clip of Clay Thompson and Durant. They didn't show the full two minutes of that because there's some swearing in that full two minutes. Love it. Yep. Ruins power play again, please. Look at that. Ryan O'Reilly. 
Wayne Gretzky giving the patented thumbs up. That was his trademark back in the 80s and 90s. The thumbs up was his thing. He used to love doing that. Oh, Shen with a nice clear face off win. Petrangelo's just going to wrap it around the net. Gives it off to Schwartz. Back to the point for Petrangelo. Petrangelo wraps it around the net again. There is Tarasenko. Leaves it there for Shen. Shen's going to give chase. Going to get it back to the other side. Back to the point for Edmondson. Edmondson's just going to wrap it around the other side. Nobody there, but there is Petrangelo. He's pinching. And the Blues are going to get a shot on goal. Steer aside by Rask. Shen now trying to get the puck into the behind the net, but he can't get it there. But it's going to be kept in by the Blues. Schwartz with some pressure. And here comes Curley. And he's just going to dump it into St. Louis territory. Left behind the net for Edmondson. He's bumped off the puck, but Petrangelo will pick it up for the Blues. Eight minutes left to go in this third period. 3-2 Blues lead. Sunkfist will just chip it in. Rask will come out and play. He's going to give it off to Johansson. Johansson can't get the puck by him. And there's Steen. Gives it off to Sunkfist. Out in front looking for Dunn. Dunn was coming up a little bit. He tries to get the puck around deep. Can't get it in deep. Koya will try to get the puck out. Can't get it out. Bar Bar Barbashev will get it to the line. And it's going to be cleared, and Payarko will give chase. Nope, David Perron. David Perron will come up for the Blues on the left-hand side. Gives it up to, to Sanford, and he's just going to chip it in deep. Krug will give chase for the Bruins. Behind the net he goes, waits, comes out with it. Krug now looks to make a play, gives it to the right side for Heinen. Heinen is just going to chip it in deep, and Johansson will give chase. But there's Payarko with the puck around the net. Just wraps it around for Sanford, trying to get it to the line. Gets it to the line, and just out. Heinen now will pick it up for Boston. Gives it across to Krug. Krug now makes a play on the left-hand side. Gets it to the line, but O'Reilly's there to intercept it. And Perron will give it off to the left wing for, for Sanford, who's just going to chip it in deep. Clifton now, behind his own net, will hand it off to Krug. Krug will make a play up the middle. Looks for a play. That's going to be offside, and that is offside on the Bruins. Brad Marchand couldn't get on that quick enough. Play out KD in. That's a possibility. Yo, it's Elna. How's it going? Welcome. What's going on? Just calling a game, Zane. Toronto super fan. Why does he always wave that towel, then sit down? I don't know. That's just his thing. Well, he's questionable, but I doubt he will. I doubt he will miss, but he is technically a questionable. They always say that stupid term. I hate it. He'll play, though. But Looney definitely won't be done. He's done for the series. Crowd is getting jacked. 6.52 left to go in this game. Blues win the draw. Barbashev will try to keep it in. Can't. There is Moore, who's just going to wrap it around into St. Louis territory. Gives chase as Bergeron and Marchand. But there's Boomeister and Barbashev at the line trying to get this puck out. Sunkfist will give it off to Steen. Steen will get it back to Sunkfist deep. Looks to make a play. Nice little sauce pass to Pyarko. Pyarko will get it off to center into Boston territory, but McAvoy will pick up the loose puck, gives it off to Pasternak. David Pasternak can't get by the Blues defender, but he's going to get it back to the point. And there's more. Back to Pasternak. Little snapshot blocked. And that's going to get out. McAvoy is going to have to regroup. Gives it off to Pasternak. And he's just going to wrap it all the way right in front of his own net off the wall. That's crazy. McAvoy loses it. There is the Blues going after Schwartz. But there's DeBrus trying to backhand it out. Can't get it out to the line. There's Krejcic. Krejcic will pick up the loose puck for the Bruins. And he's going to go. And he's going to get met there at the line by Schwartz. But he's still going to get it off to Bacchus, who's going to chip it in deep. And Gunnarsson will pick it up the loose puck for the Blues. Gets it off to center. And Clifton will pick it up. 5.50 left to go in this hockey game. 3-2 Blues. And here we go. Troy Krug will get it off to DeBrus. DeBrus, toe drag, takes a shot, stopped by Bennington. No rebound. He's going to cover up. And Petrangelo is ripping David Bacchus away from his goaltender. Ooh, feisty. Seven Nation Army. Okay. Uh, yeah, interesting game tonight for sure. Yeah, everyone was putting quotation marks around. Quest. I hate it. The game needs overtime. Mm, uh, I don't know. You see Curry's hot mom. You see Curry's mom every single game. Wait, damn it. There's no fighting in playoffs, uh, Crazy Mofo. There is no fighting in hockey playoffs. There's a lot of scrums after the whistles, but technically, they don't fight. Don't. Please, thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Here. Here. So this is my son's baseball team for his house league. He is officially a Blue Jay. A Toronto Blue Jay. A Toronto Blue Jay. He's house league peewee team. He is a Blue Jay. And he is number 11. He is number 11. He's paying homage to his Kevin Pillar. Yeah, not really. 
Okay, never mind. His fake girlfriend. Wow, yeah. So he is number 11 for his baseball peewee uh, house league team. So that's pretty cool. But Kevin Plar wore this, so he'll probably say that, but it's probably yeah, for the girl. No. It's probably for the girl. Oh. Yeah, that's awesome. So he is the Blue Jays for his house league team. What's the other teams? Orioles and Diamondbacks. Orioles and Diamondbacks. So Marco and them are the Diamondbacks, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Worst Jays jersey ever. Well, that's just too bad. That's too. That's really. that's pretty cool. Last one was baby blue. Yeah, it was the baby blue powdered one. That's actually pretty nice too, though. And he can wear that with his. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Worst Jays jersey ever. <laughs> well done to your son. Well, that's his house league team. That's not his select team. That's just the one with kids that didn't make the select program. But that's nice. Yeah, that is pretty nice. I like it. QC going to be mad. Yeah, and I bet you that's who we're going to play in the finals for the house league. It would probably be the Diamondbacks. <laughs> but uh, I wonder how those jerseys look. But they they might have been pretty good. They were they were a team last year. They had that color scheme for uh, for the Bantam and Midget team. They combined their house league last year, and there was a Diamondbacks, and those those jerseys look pretty sweet. So, but uh, unnecessary roughness. Take me home, take me home. Whoa, but they're singing a song here. Wow, okay, St. Louis, I hear you. Malik Robinson, live in St. Louis. Come on, Blues, hold on. Yes, Malik, that's what they gotta do. Welcome to the channel, by the way. Thank you for coming through. Hit that like button. Wayne Gretzky smiling at the song. All right, face off one by the Blues. Boom, I serve. We'll pick it up and gives it off to uh, the right-hand side for O'Reilly. O'Reilly has been a, or Steen. He's been a little firecracker. He's not scoring as much as he used to back in the day, but now he's just playing some solid minutes and being that veteran experience. Barbershev will pick up the loose puck. 5.20 left to go in this hockey game. Still 3-2. Boomeister will wrap it up on the left-hand side. Chipped in deep. Clifton will give chase. Rask is going to play it there, and he's just going to wrap it around all the way to the right side for Pasternak, and Pasternak will lose it, and here comes Shen. Braden Shen will just wrap it around behind the net. Krug will play the puck, and he's going to get it to the line. Can't get it up, but there is Pasternak. He'll come out with it. David Pasternak will flip it down the middle, but he's going to give it right to Petrangelo, who's going to get it out right to Shen. And here comes the Blues right back into Boston territory. Tarasenko will leave it for Schwartz. Schwartz now gets bumped off the puck by McAvoy, but there is Charlie Coyle. He'll pick up the loose puck. 440 left to go here, third period. More for Boston. Looks like there was a screen there by Johansson, but no call. And here comes McAvoy just trying to streak in, and he's going to get the puck off to the line, right to center. David Perron's going to flip it up to himself with a glove pass, and they call a hand pass? No, they don't. That was a crazy one. Back Perron, back to the point. Shot there by Colton Pierco, and it's stopped by Tukarask. Face off deep in Boston territory. What game is next for you? Probably game three of the NBA Finals, Stephen Pope. Yeah, welcome. Well, I don't know if Malik is going to stick around. He probably just wanted to say hello. Hopefully he says hello again. But yeah, good stuff. All right, here we go. Face off deep in Boston territory. 425 left to go. Back to the point. Pierco will pick up the loose puck. He's just going to take a little snapshot on goal, but it's going to go wide. Perron now behind the net with O'Reilly. Met there by the Bruins as well. Crowd is getting chat. You can hear them saying, let's go Blues. O'Reilly and Carlo give... Oh, O'Reilly's a tank back there. Can't get the puck up. Bruins try to kick it to the open wing, and the Nordstrom's trying to get this loose puck, but that's going to be kept in by Pierco. And he's going to go back. He was pinching. Doesn't have to pinch. They're winning. But he did. Trying to keep that puck deep in Boston territory. Right at the blue line now. Boston and St. Louis trying to kick it down into the corner. They get it into Boston territory. Barbershev will just take a little snapshot. Steer it aside by Rask. He's just going to flick it to the corner. Carlo will try to give chase. Sunkfist is there as well. Back to the point. Petrangelo wraps it all the way around the net. Steen meets it behind the net. Back in front for Barbershev. Back to Steen. But it's going to be too, too high. Car Corley can't get the puck up. Petrangelo is also pinching. Why are these guys pinching? But it's going to be kept in there. There's a defenseman right there at the line. It's Sunkfist. And they're, oh wow, there's so much pressure by the Blues. They're keeping it everything. And they finally get an icing call. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it depends on my son's baseball game. He plays at 6 o'clock. We might be home by 8.45, right at 9 o'clock possibly. Maybe a little bit past 9, but I will be doing most of the game three. Game four, definitely start to finish. 
Shayna Jane, what's going on? You did. You did what? What? You did what? Thanks. Happy to be here. Let's go, Blues. Uh, what are you thinking about the Raptors? Uh, I'm hoping they can come back and uh, win a game down there. Shot just wide, but I hope they can win one of the games in Golden State. It's going to be a great time, though. I'm hoping they come back and surprise the world and take one of them. Because I think this series is going to go back and forth, back and forth. All right, 255 left to go in this game. Bennington will come out and play. Gives it off to Pyarco. Pyarco is just going to wrap it to Boomeister. He's trying to get this puck out to the line. Riley's there. They can't get the puck out. Boomeister now will have to get it back to Pyarco behind the net. He's going to get it out into the middle. There is going to be a nice little touch pass. And Tarasenko looks to chip it in deep and does. Krejci will pick it up. 240 left to go in this third period. Blues up by one. Boston needs to make a, uh, a good change here. Let's go. They get in. Krejci can't get the puck in deep, and they're going to lose it again, and it goes back into St. Louis, or Boston territory. Charlie McAvoy will pick up the puck, slides it across for Moore, and Moore holds on to it, gives it off to Krejci. Krejci goes to the right side, finds Johansson. Johansson now comes in, looks for the pass in the middle, picked off by the Blues. Sunkfist will pick up the puck. He's going to chip it off to center, and down the ice it goes. Tori Krug now, 2.10 left to go in this third period. Krug skates around. Bruins making a line change. Top Gun's coming out here pretty quick here for the Bruins. They might have to pull their goalie here soon as well. Pasternak will get it back down. And Sunfist is going to pick it off and he's going to get it in deep. McAvoy now with the puck, but Brad Marchand will pick up the puck for the Bruins. Looks to make a play. Pressured there by Alex Dean. Marchand now goes for a skate. Bergeron looks to set a screen, it looked like, but it didn't happen. Boomeister will pick it up in his own end. Boomeister will just wrap it around looking for Barbashev at the line. He's going to get the puck out to center, and they're back down in Boston territory. 135 left to go with in this game. Clifton will pick it up. He goes for a skate with some speed, but he's going to lose it. And here comes Shen. Takes the open net. Scores! Braden Shen. Four or two blues and that's gonna wrap game four up here ladies and gentlemen Braden Shen with an empty net goal and there's Patrick Maroon's kid he's all pumped yeah with the jean jacket and the wife and the blues are gonna take game four ladies and gentlemen going back to Boston tied at two GG's GG's Boston but yeah so we're going back to Boston now ladies and gentlemen tied at two this could also go seven games, ladies and gentlemen. But St. Louis plays better on the road. They play better on the road. If they steal one there, they could win the cup here on the weekend. Wow, David Perron with a beard? That is crazy talk. All right, they're going to call a timeout here, Boston, I think. They still got time here, 128. They'll probably pull the goalie again. All right, here we go. O'Reilly's just going to dump it in deep. Krug will meet him there. Krug's just going to get the puck off on the wing for Brad Marchand. Marshawn's going to flip it to center and try to hope for the best, but nobody there. Boomeister will get it off. Steen will tip it back into Boston territory. Krug will pick it up, give it off to Pasternak. He's going to lose it. Sunfist now will come, takes a little snapshot blocked by Krug. Sunfist now behind his own net will look to make a play. Bought off in the corner by Krejci and Krug. Krug will pick up the loose puck. He's going to hand it off to Bergeron, who will give it to Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand met there by two blues. He's just going to chip it in deep. Krejci will give chase. Pierco now gives chase. He wraps it around, but kept in by Bergeron. Bergeron, Schwartz in the corner, fighting for it. Back to the blue line. Gives it off to Pasternak. Takes a shot, tipped high and wide. Krug now pinching heavily down low for Brad Marchand in the corner. Blues trying to get this puck out. Bees try to keep it in deep, trying to make a play back to the point, but can't. Sunfist is going to flip it up in the air, get it off to center, and we got 29 seconds left to go in this game. Pasternak just going to wrap it around, but we got an offside because there is Brad Marchand in the thick of things. Well, sorry, Tori Krug and Pyarco, they're jawing. It's like a six foot five giant with like a 5'11 defenseman. Game seven, it just looks like, it looks like it's going to go back and forth. I think it's going to go back and forth, and it's going to end up in Boston for game seven. Unless somehow St. Louis, if St. Louis can win the next one in Boston, oh my God, they have a great chance. They have a great chance to win in six. But I called it in six. So, but they have to steal another one. They're going to have to steal another one in Boston. That might be tough to do, though. But you never know. Hockey's a different different type of breed. There's going to be pressure on the Blues to win on the road. There's going to be pressure on the Bruins to maintain home ice. But we'll see. They have a big uh, watch party out in St. Louis. Very small compared to Jurassic Park, but hey. At least they have that sort of stuff in the Stanley Cup Finals. You said Boston in five? Yeah. It's tough.
All right, four on four. So yeah, there is uh, Pyarco and Kruger probably going off for roughing penalties. 25.7 seconds left to go in this game. And Chara did not play a minute. So he just sat on the bench the whole third period. So there might be something wrong. I think they just had him out there for veteran leadership probably, but still, I think there might be something seriously wrong because he has not played a minute. Patrick Maroon's kid there, again, this kid has been a focal point during the Stanley Cup Finals I've been hearing, so he's been on the camera twice in the last two minutes. We need Bleed Blue first time in our history. Yep, there we go. Well, you're our two wins away. Krejcic will bring the puck in. Pasternak will rip it. No good. Wide, and they pull to Karask to make it a five on four. So we've got 13 seconds left. That's back in Boston territory. McAvoy now will come up quickly with it. McAvoy makes a play to the right side for Pasternak, or Krejcic, he comes in. Krejcic back to Marchand, takes a little snapshot wide and looks like there's going to be some jousting here with Petrangelo and the game is over. Final score is going to be 4-2, to two, but Petrangelo and Charlie McAvoy were jousting. It looked like Petrangelo was jousting with, uh, yeah, with McAvoy, but that's it. They skate apart and they start giving Bennington some love, but that's the end of the game. This was a hell of a good game, ladies and gentlemen, and the Blues tie the series. The Blues tied the series, and we go to game number five back at the TD Garden. But that was good. I can't believe you're going to kill yourself over one game, dude. Get a grip. Get a grip. Oh, there you go. Welcome, Sarah. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, yes. What a game. This was fun to do, guys. It's been a while since I've done hockey on my channel, like full start to finish, but it was good. It was fun to do this tonight, guys. It was fun to do this. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for joining me tonight. We got, whoa, look at those blondies, two of them. Look at the little boy, but the blondies took precedence. Sorry. Ah, uh, this is awesome. I live in St. Louis and I'm loving it. Good stuff, Sarah. Congratulations to the Blues. Tied the series. Big win. Big win. If only if they would have won this other game. It, it, it could have been three to one. Could have been three to one. That would have been... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Glory, glory, Gloria. 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 Yeah, you're lip singing, lady. You just ruined that song. Yeah. Glory, glory, Ah, uh, uh, thank you, Rocha. Appreciate it. We struggle. You guys play better on the road, though, Malik. This is only your sixth. This is your 12th home game. And you're six and six on home ice. So we'll see. I'm going to rewatch yesterday's game. Yeah, you go watch yesterday's game. Did you know the Blues, this is their first ever finals home win? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ram lost Super Bowl to the Patriots 2001. Yes, they did. Sanford, third star of the game. I think the first star is going to be O'Reilly. And uh, Petrangelo, the second star of the game. Alex Petrangelo. And the first star is going to be Ryan O'Reilly. That's just my prediction. And the game's first star. And Ryan O'Reilly is the first star with two goals tonight. Ryan O'Reilly. Nice. Beautiful. And there's Colby. Just squeaks his back head back in once the Blues win the game. He leaves for the whole time. Doesn't say nothing. The Blues win. He comes right back. Love it. Love it. All right. You enjoy the D-backs, uh, Crazy Mofo. Enjoy that game. And that's it. That is it. And yeah, we'll see you guys for Wednesday at some point for the NBA Finals Game 3. Hopefully it's on time. If not, maybe it'll be a little bit soon after. But if you guys want to come hang out for some NBA Finals on Wednesday, I will be live at some point. Hopefully it's right from the start. But I just want to say two sweets to all of you guys in the chat. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. You guys have been amazing. Thanks for showing support tonight. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. All right, Cardinal out. Boom. Good night, everybody. Talk to you soon.